Hey, everyone. I guess I'm live already. But just... I don't know how to translate it. Okay, it's day 508. Um, it's Rick and no jet today, unfortunately. He told me he's not feeling well right now. Um, but he's recovering. Uh, hey, I guess everyone, just a second. I guess I'm live already. Was. Uh huh. The but just. I even forgot to get my microphone uh, closer to my mouth. God damn it, Rick. Uh, I'm pretty disorganized now, but uh, Caitlin R, thank you so much for becoming a javelin right away. That's just amazing. Thank you very much. And Sekai Sekai is already gifting the membership. And who's receiving it? Uh, Pat Chellen. Pat Chellen, welcome back to membership system or family yeah okay guys but we're gonna have a, a another guest today instead it's gonna be dick dawson from the shells so it's pretty awesome to meet him i haven't uh, been on the shells yet they know about me i know about them uh, but we just cannot match our time lines time schedules yeah all that stuff so I'm really happy to see you there in the chat, guys. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Judgment Day, uh, great words there in the very beginning. Country Scott, Courtney Scott, <laughs> Scott, sorry, Timothy, of course. We had a couple of words there. Um, Maria, Taz, Obi Juan, welcome, guys. Welcome, everyone. Bobby Newman, who else do we have there? Um, we have Tane, of course. Tane, how are you doing today? Thank you for being here as always. Martin Lai here from Oshawa, Canada. Is it Oshawa? Am I uh, pronouncing it correctly? Uh, Dr. Tuso or Tuso? Uh, I'm not sure, sorry. But welcome. Uh, Suzanne Niffen. Hi, how are you doing, Suzanne? We missed you on the last stream. And Hale. Hello, everyone. Lurking from work again. And Hale. Uh, I'm glad you're lurking. You're always here. Thank you. Um, Taz was asking a bit more mic volume, please. Yeah, that was pretty far from my mouth. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, but, but what? But I'm checking my browser. What do we have there? We have a new fundraiser. Yes. 90,000. Uh, two thermal scopes. They are not military grade, pretty cheap uh, hunting type. Um, but they are, I mean, soldiers who ordered them, I mean, like, who started the fundraiser, they said this model proven itself pretty worthy, and though it's cheap, it's efficient, so yeah, it's two of them, 45,000 hryvnas each, so uh, it's, let me guess, two and a half thousand dollars, right? So yeah, that, that's what, that's our next goal, so this what what squad is it uh, i guess it's a some separate battalion again i'm gonna get to that right now yes <laughs> not later let me just give me a minute i'm gonna uh, tell you exactly so it's in a description of the stream there uh we need nope not humble what the hell what is it that even uh just looks a bit like youtube <laughs> Okay, so how many likes do we have, guys? 59, awesome. 60 viewers and 59 likes, pretty awesome. We can definitely do, oh, it's 60, right? So we can definitely do 65 or 70 because some people just came. Dick Dawson, hi, how you doing? Parenton, almost done, see you all soon. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see Dick uh, in about an hour, maybe a bit less. Uh, so for now, we're gonna talk fundraising, of course, as always, and also, um also some news because there we had a lot of them this week not all of them are good but some good news too uh yeah tonight just posted my buy me a coffee thank you uh very much and if you want to support me there i will be really grateful to you it helps me get to my dream faster you know how it works your bench hi hello rick uh, from tel aviv and glory to ukraine we're Oh, happy to see you here from Tel Aviv. Welcome. Uh, welcome to Stinger, Adrian Vasquez. Uh, pretty awesome. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. These memberships are actually 
something that's that's finally given some you know profit from YouTube channel because I don't have any mon monetization from Zulkin's interviews because he's taken everything it's blocked and it's okay I'm totally fine with it I'm just letting you know that I'm not getting anything from views only from your memberships guys this is why I'm so uh, really grateful so very grateful not really but really I'm really grateful to everyone who's gifting those memberships and buying them just like that themselves thank you very much guys especially those who are buying some javelins and Bradley's we have one Bradley here on YouTube channel YouTube membership system yes uh, Dick is saying gotta run back in about an hour yes man we're gonna wait for you hey ohms thank you so much for 10 gifted memberships and you see people are receiving them right away Susa Hubert Greg Watkins EL Jordan Hansley oh my god I'm, I'm not gonna be listing everyone though I'm almost dead right <laughs> nice shirt oh thank you so much Annie and hello I forgot to tell you hi uh, yeah I like this shirt I, I felt kind of guys I felt like um, like a Crimean beach party today I had a good mood uh, and I thought what the hell Let, let's feel like it's Crimea beach party already today um, and you see Yulia was gifted a membership by the way guys I just wanted to let you know that um, not all the people who are receiving those gifted memberships are in the chat some of them are not there and they are just receiving them automatically because they had memberships before and uh, YouTube works like that so if you see people receiving them it, it doesn't mean that they are in the chat Suzanne Niffen thank you so much for 10 gifted memberships and John King for becoming a stinger guys you are amazing thank you so much for all that support uh, hello Rick from Kansas USA John King says John welcome uh, Michael hello beautiful people uh, Oh, Michelle not Michael sorry <laughs> Michelle uh, you don't you still don't have a membership so please turn on the automatic membership uh, acceptance or how, how is it called there uh, in the you know settings of that uh, green box yeah you press it and then you turn it on Oms is saying Hawaiian shirts are welcome in Crimea Beach Party yeah of course so yeah I got this one last year so in the early streams uh, about the year ago where there were almost no viewers uh, here uh, but we always had Charlie and Jed of course but no, yeah actually my friends were he, he, friends from Ukraine were supporting me coming in here but most of you guys didn't know me back then I still was streaming on Instagram god damn it that platform sucks for streaming believe me <laughs> but I had this t-shirt on one of the stream ones uh, anyway I wanted to show it to all of you also hey Suzanne is gifting another 10 memberships thank you very much Suzanne uh, I still got back to those messages uh, that I missed before to just to wel welcome you all in the stream guys uh, Amanda Eisman from Gulfport Mississippi welcome it wasn't me hi how you doing um sekai sekai welcome of course uh kathleen r good morning everyone kathleen thank you again for becoming a javelin and welcome carolyn g hello everyone hello carolyn welcome who else did i miss i just want to mention all of you guys because we have some new people i just want to know you to to say your name at least once at, for for to begin with you know <laughs> just to start remembering them okay so um, Taz of course uh, we were gonna talk about the Lithuanian fundraiser but a bit later okay please and thank you uh, K, uh, K no C D Y K stra six again I'm saying your full name hi how you doing uh, but uh, Bobby Newman welcome um, Paul welcome greetings from Chicago Chicago it's not Chicago I know uh, Chicago I guess and probably not right still right pronunciation I mean silver earth welcome uh, glad to see you J Plothelm wow I I hope I pronounce it right second Sekai uh, everyone is mentioning you but what did you say back there welcome everyone yes that that's that's what it is Duncan Stewart how are you doing uh, I remember that you don't have the ability to receive memberships in your country unfortunately shit sorry to hear that again Hugo Figurius, Figurius, 
Figurus, probably, right? Welcome, how you doing? Andres Lech. Uh, hello, everybody from... An, oh, okay. Niedersachen. Niedersachen. Sachen. Sachsen. Oblast in Germany. Okay, it's hard to pronounce. Chris Lande. Welcome. Hi, all. Uh, Yvonne Wei. Welcome. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, Amanda Eisman. Welcome. Cinnamon, how you doing? Listening right now? Awesome. You're probably driving, working right now. Right, Cinnamon? How you doing? How was your week? Michael Parker. Happy Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday is pretty good, I must say. Greetings from Germany, says Dr. Tuso. Emanuela Dorio. Hi from Emanuela, Italy. Oh, actually, your name is like your um, city, town. What, what, what is it? Where, where, where do you live? Um, okay. Uh, let's move on. Who else we have there? Linda H, lower one. Dylan HX, greetings from USA. Bruce Campbell, hello guys. Welcome all to the stream. Uh, Zena Clark, uh, welcome. Good morning from Sacramento, California. Uh, Wenz Wiesner, welcome. Oh my god, guys, there's so many of you here. Uh, T and Opals, welcome. Oh, I just am really curious to mention all of you guys. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Ihor Holubenko, welcome. Um, always happy to see you here. Thank you for support. Uh, Suzanne Niffen, again, sorry, I already pronounced you, but why don't I mention you again, Suzanne? Um, okay, Annie, uh, welcome again. Ken Patterson, 67 likes, awesome. I think you were talking about likes, right? <laughs> um, uh, your bench of yeah i mentioned you already sir garrick welcome adrian Vasquez, i already welcomed you uh who else uh -huh. i've seen you guys already who else <laughs> hello from los angeles says adrian Vasquez. uh rick may your people live long and prosper thank you very much live long and prosper i i can easily do the spot thing because because I'm a Star Trek fan and I learned it when I was 15, 14 probably, and original Star Trek guys, so you know. <laughs> On this hand, yeah, easily, easily too. Some people cannot do that, did you know that? <laughs> but live long and prosper, my dear community, you're just amazing, you know. Okay, welcome to you guys. Who else didn't I welcome? Haven't I welcome, right? Um... Mm -hmm. Who is chatting there? Welcome to you guys. Great cheesy nineteen sixty nine. Welcome to the stream. Uh, bon voyage. Hello. Welcome. Um, I'm already a member. Says Suzanne. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, hello, Rick from Kansas, USA. Says John King. I've I think I've read that already. Right. Uh, eight people just got tired of me, me reading all the messages and dropped off. But whatever, we continue. To read all the messages. I love it so much. God damn it. <laughs> Beautiful people, says Michelle. Yes, they are. Um, okay, who else did I miss? Susa. Thank you so much. Susa, you're always welcome. Pat Chellen is asking me. It was so great seeing you on the morning show with Andrew and Starsky. You are amazing. Thank you very much. Those guys, damn, I was really proud to meet Starsky, definitely. And so happy to meet uh, and proud to uh, Andrew Mercado um there in person it was awesome and i felt guys i felt like i'm in a circle of friends who i know for years there was such a great um how do you call it atmosphere we say here in ukraine but damn it it was such a good um place time and com company there i i felt like i i really am with my guys and i think they are my guys uh, I want to get back to Andrew's show again. Please ask him in a chat next time. Uh, when am I coming back? So he will um, he will do what? He will invite me to the next one. I'm hoping to get to the one uh, that is going to be his birthday. Uh, it's 19th, just in three days. And I just received a donation, $10 from Carolyn. For thermal scopes, love your channel. Wish I could send more. Thank you very much. Uh, it's actually already um, 
generous you know because even one dollar is a donation and there are no small donations so thank you very much it is really appreciated and very appreciated okay now we proceed with a chat who else joined us ken Pedersen. welcome ken cheryl waitley on a berdyansk on to berdyansk oh guys did you know that berdyansk is actually my favorite town in ukraine uh yeah i, I love it damn it I've spent every summer since I was 12 or 10 years old until until last year. Yeah. When Russia occupied Berdyansk, I stopped, unfortunately, stopped going there, obviously. But before that, I've spent every summer there. And not the whole summer, but I've moved there for a week or two every year, every fucking year. No, one year I missed. Definitely it was uh, 2020, yeah. Uh, I went to another place. No, 2021. Yes. Okay. Um, let's go on. I'm missing a lot of them already. <laughs> the messages, I mean. Um, Joe Gutierrez. Uh, hello, guys from Mercado Media. Love you all. Welcome. Uh, okay. What else do we do we have here? Who else do we have here? Not what, right? Um okay okay michelle ferguson guys i just want to ma mention you tell me if it's okay in the chat okay please if it's okay okay <laughs> nathan Sh um okay schwessler schwessler it is thank you Holmes. yes yeah, so um more memberships irene s is becoming a stinger welcome again to the memberships i guess it's not your first right irene and happy to see you here as always you know that uh as house in trees i stand with ukraine uh everything else can fuck off yes definitely um thank you very much for standing with ukraine hi rick sorry uh for the tough name <laughs> it's okay cdy uh, i'm gonna get used to it have been following everyone on the good morning cave show thank you Holmes. um okay let's move on move on mr england great show with mercado the other day thank you very much guys i try to stay relaxed and still based and i think it was pretty awesome i thought that i'm gonna be uh, acting st not stupid but you know like mm, i'm gonna be slow uh, my brain's gonna be slow because i haven't slept i i mean that night i had i've slept for four hours and uh it was so early for me to get up I usually get up at 9 a.m. or sometimes 10 a.m. and that time I, I should uh, wake up uh, 5.30 a.m. to uh, be at uh, Andrew's place at 7. So yeah, damn it, I was so sleepy. But when I got there, damn it, it was so fucking awesome. I felt um, my brain got, got at its place and I started thinking pretty, pretty good. Yeah, so... It, it was definitely a great show. Uh, Noel Wyland is becoming a stinger. Welcome, Noel. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Sakai was saying to everyone who said hi to me, hello and slava Ukraine. Hello and slava. Sakai. Sakai. We know we Ukrainians, when we see or hear slava Ukraine, it's automatically, automatically must be answered with um, hello and slava. Of course, it's kind of a, I don't know, habit but it's a great habit i guess <laughs> oh carl carl green is becoming a javelin for three months carl green green damn it, damn it. why am i not pronouncing your name correctly uh, welcome uh to the memberships for three months it's very generous thank you very much uh javelin is 10 bucks so 30 bucks membership wow thank you very much carl green very generous Let's move on. Do the Odessa beaches have an oil spill now? Yes, they do. Uh, unfortunately, our nature is shit now, thanks to fucking terrorist Russia. They're just polluting everything. They are committing ecocide. Don't forget about that. We're gonna fight that for years, for decades after this, after our victory. So it's still a long way. Still fucking long, long way. Uh, okay, uh, Nana Sin Chin Chin or Sin Sin, what is it? Hello, good to see you from Florida. Welcome, Nana, and you already have a membership. I I see. Welcome to the membership system too. 
Um, okay. Nathan is saying hello from San Diego, California. Welcome, California. Uh, I would love to visit uh, your beautiful state someday. I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> Suzanne is uh, waving me. Hi, Suzanne again. Uh, but I'm missing out with those uh, messages, you know. I see a lot of orc hunters in the chat. Yeah, they are here. We have a lot of them now here. Uh, Sprinkles, say hi. Hi, Sprinkles. Sekul Sekai, Rick, do we have any High Mars members on Buy Me a Coffee or YouTube membership yet? We had High Mars. Uh, Stephen Barnes became a first High, high Mars about a month ago. Yeah, a month and a week. And uh, we lost him as a High Mars due to uh, his uh, financial, current financial situation. Uh, but he said that he was gonna renew it anyway. I'm grateful for anything, even if you won't be renewing it, it's totally fine. I understand that, but yeah, we had a high Mars for now. We don't have a high Mars, um, guys. I'm gonna just for, for the new guys who's here in the stream, I'm gonna show you my buy me a coffee and uh, I'm gonna show you that we have different tiers. Uh, it's weapons first is Stinger, then Javelin, Bradley, uh, then Abrams, and high Mars is the biggest one. So uh, we have Abrams, it's Timothy Decote. He is uh, a very generous supporter of this channel. He is a, an Abrams, as I mentioned already, and uh, he is actually donating to the armed forces of Ukraine, to the fundraisers we have here every uh, week. And his donation is very generous. It's, uh, it's 30, uh, oh, sorry, $300 every time. So, Timothy is a legend. Thank you very much, Timothy. You've been doing this, these donations for, oh my god, half a year. About half a year you've been uh, such a generous supporter of all these fundraisers. Every week you donate, before you donated $200 every week, and for the last month or two you started donating $300 instead of $200. Timothy, it's just, you know, it's priceless. I mean, it's money, yes, and there are numbers, but what you're doing and how you're supporting not me, not only me, right, you know, but uh, the armed forces of Ukraine, and they are the priority in this case, and you are putting them as priority and uh, donating 300 every time. Thank you very much. Now, so we also received $50 from Mushroom Many. He's uh, probably not there in the chat yet, uh, but he's our moderator and all-time supporter of this channel and of the armed forces of Ukraine, those fundraisers. So $50 from him today already. And Hill donated $40. Um, when was it? Two days ago, right, And Hill? Or maybe yesterday. Thank you very much, And Hill. $40 from you are summing up now. So uh, for now, we have $100. Timothy uh, still haven't dropped his. And Timothy, it's not, uh, you know, uh, if if guys all the donations are very appreciated but they're not necessary just being here is the priority and only if you have the wish or ability to donate then do it so yeah this, this is a buy me a coffee and for now we have five members and it's about 100 dollars per month yes uh if summarizing it uh, but uh when when i'm gonna have let's say a thousand per month, I will we'll be able to, um, well, probably not there, <laughs> not at that point, who knows, but maybe I, oh, because yeah, oh, Sekai just become a high Mars, Sekai, I'm speechless, I'm fucking speechless, thank you very much, uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's why you asked, <laughs> so now we have one high Mars, uh, if Steven Barnes got, gets back, to us, then we will give. Uh, we'll have two high Marses. Damn it, Sekai, you're you're just ah, you made me speechless. Uh, but it still shows nine members. I don't know why. Let's go home and see. Uh, yes, so someone is now a member. A victory to Ukraine. Keep up the good work, Rick. Thank you very much, Sekai. Um, so you're like a. a anonymous here right it's someone but i know it's you <laughs> thank you so yes uh i was talking about yeah when i when i get those um uh, how do you call those things those memberships enough of them to quit my job and become you know a all an all-time 
uh, dubber and blogger. Uh, okay, streamer. I'm mostly streaming, not doing those videos because uh, streaming for me is much uh, more like preferable and I love it more than editing the videos. I spend a lot of time on editing. This is why it's exhausting, but uh, dubbing is something that I'm passionate about and that's it. And I'm missing a lot of messages again. Let me get back to the chat because I see 20 gifted memberships from Noel Wieland. Thank you very much. This is very generous. Okay, Sekai, thank you again for becoming a high Mars. And I just received uh, $300 from Timothy. Timothy, thank you very much. So uh, we have uh, another donation, $40 from Cinnamon. So at the moment we have uh, $440 now donated for today's stream. So guys, for those of you who uh, who's here for the first time or for the second time, maybe you've missed that too. Uh, our fundraisers are being um, committed like this. Uh, we, uh, I receive money on my PayPal during the stream. Uh, so the PayPal is always posted there in the chat by our amazing moderators. They uh, will do it again now, please guys, and thank you. So I receive money there. Then in the end of the stream, I sum them up and I send them to the jar. You see, there's a progress bar. No. Yeah, in here, in here somewhere, somewhere here, yes. And uh, we are doing what? We are, I am, not we are, I am redirecting them from my PayPal on all the money that we, we receive. I'm redirecting them to the jar. And you see how the progress bar is updating. So everything is transparent. Everything is happening right here on the stream. So I ask you guys, please, to donate to uh this fundraiser or you can use the link actually and send the money directly to monobank i am let's get back to to the stream yes and see that we have 134 likes probably <laughs> awesome great job guys please don't forget to give a like if you still haven't uh this will help with engagement so i'm going here and i just wanted to check what uh unit we are raising money for so it's 31st uh 41st separate rifle battalion so rifle battalions been formed now uh, during this war and they were um they are like not very good supplied you know they need our support the support of volunteers because they are not the priority for uh the ministry of defense unfortunately it, it is like what it is we we still don't have the possibility to do that but uh i actually have a photo yeah just give me a minute i have a photo here i have a post about this fundraiser so uh the ukrainian girl is raising these uh, money this ninety thousand hryvnias so here it is. So it's gonna be. It's not gonna be a military grade. And you see, actually, you see the brand. It's Enfi Ray. Uh, they have received donations uh, before, but they still haven't sent them to this jar. But I asked them to do that. By the way, Sekai is vouching for these people, and I trust Sekai. And uh, Sekai is actually helping us to find this fundraiser to help it so we're we guys are going to be helping this uh these soldiers thanks to sekai also someone bought me five coffees just someone with no comment so thank you very much someone for five coffees there and and what and yes there's a fundraiser and thank you for all the donations that you already already sent and will be still sending I'm really grateful. So uh, we usually raise this sum in like two streams, uh, maybe in three, uh, but two is going to be a great result. So let's help those soldiers to get them because they are somewhere in the east as most of our troops. Some of them on the south, in the south, on the south, I guess, the southern directions. So they... Um, are advancing soon I guess too uh, we've heard some rumors you know, I'm not a source of information I'm just discussing you know um, and that's it I'm getting back to the chat so uh, this was about fundraiser and I spent 
I spent a lot of time there, but anyway, it is important. I lived in San Diego a couple of times. Cheers, says Alms. This, also, this is awesome, Alms. Uh, Okie doke. Well, let's move on with the messages. Amonsky Am Amarsky. Amarsky, yes. Hello from Slovenia. Oh, I didn't know that you're from Slovenia. Welcome. And I remember that you've uh, once generously bought me 50 or 100 coffees, and I'm really grateful to you, Amonsky. It is it is a very generous, uh, generous support. Thank you very much. Rosamond, California, says Bobby Newman. Awesome. And uh, after that message, there was a message from a nickname that I'm not able to pronounce. Ah, I know, it's backwards. It's Magdi... Magdi... Oh, oh, Magdi Boo, probably. <laughs> I'm not sure though. Hello, Rick. So nice to see you. I'm sorry I've been absent as I have chronic mig migraines and it's been awful recently. Thank you for con uh, continuing on your on your journey and sharing with us. Thank you very much uh, for coming, Stefan Deweys, and for these kind words. I appreciate it. Okay, um, I need to catch up with messages. Let me do it real quick. SL, or, or SL, uh, hi, uh, welcome to stream. Irene S, uh, I've welcomed you already. Who did I miss, guys? Hola, Rick the Ukrainians, says Joe Gutierrez from California. Welcome. Who was tagging me back there? Let me check. Uh, Wentz Weezer, the people who dropped off have minute attention span. <laughs> yep, some, some people do, but most of the people who are coming here, uh, they are just, you know, uh, they, they... Damn it! What what did I want? They are staying and they want to listen and they want to interact. So this is it. This is just just amazing how how great our community is and what great people we have here. Oh, by the way, have you noticed how energetic I am today? I'm not really tired at the moment. I'm gonna be tired in two or three hours definitely. But right now I'm so fucking energetic. Amazing stream, Rick says Obi Wan. Uh, thank you very much, Obi Wan. Uh, we got you, Rick. Thank you, Chris Lundy. Okay. Um, my guys, yay! Friendship feelings says sprinkles. Uh, quite cute. It is. Okay. Okay, guys. I need to go up there. So many messages missed. Yes. Uh huh. He he he. Okay. Okay. I think I even yeah, I guess I guess I even got the messages uh, lost there some of them. Oh yeah, I'm not going to mention all of you guys. Hi Rick, love from Spain says Leslie Bokshell. Welcome Leslie. Uh awesome to see people from Spain here. Uh Rick, very informative streams. I like how you show so much more than others. Keep up the great work. Same thank you very much, Carl Green. I'm not showing anything while I'm reading the messages, right? <laughs> but I need to read them, guys. I need to engage with my community. I fucking love this. I don't want to skip this. Um let me let me check. Hello everyone from everywhere. Rick, it was nice to see you on the morning show. Thank you very much, Greg Watkins. Mr. Nobody, welcome. Hello from Canada. We're always happy to see you here. Okay, missing most of the messages, but I still want to to see a lot of them. Uh, Schwinn is saying howdy all. Howdy, Schwinn. Uh, and welcome to the stream. Um, Sally Luz uh, from a, a, a biceps from Michigan. Oblast. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Sally Luz, I remember the great message you left there. Uh, beneath one of the streams, uh, thank you, or maybe a community post of mine, right? So uh, the, those words were encouraging and touching. Thank you very much. Uh, Sally Laws, if I'm not mistaken, you left, continue them. I will definitely continue them. I just need more time. I'm w working a full job, like five days a week, and it's pretty tiring because I have a lot of responsibility there. So yeah, I need more memberships. 
to to be to have, have more time <laughs> to to be able to do this dubbing and streaming job more often so thank you for all those gifted memberships you you gifted a lot of them today and bought a lot of them today also so thank you for your generosity guys hello everyone my phone hot spot is a bit slow says ohms it's all right uh okay rick i'm hardly awake yet <laughs> says cinnamon long nights but not working right now got it rick i notice a lot of people refer to your hair as a viking style but it is not cossack inspired it is actually kind of cossack viking inspired because actually cossacks and vikings have a lot of a lot in common because uh, actually originally a lot of our ancestors were vikings um have you heard about rudikovici one of the first rulers of the kiev rus and they were actually um, they were actually vikings so yeah i have a viking blood in me definitely and we cossacks have it uh, but yeah it's it's a cossack style though cossacks had um, it's bold in here too like Shit, 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 shit. It's not the mirror, Rick. God damn it. <laughs> so, you see, they, they had it like here, and only in here they had hair, and it, it was called Oseledis, yes. Uh, okay, let's move on. The Surreal Taco, the Taco left that message, a great uh, question to me. Thank you, The Surreal Taco, and welcome to the stream. Yuri Bench was saying in the live broadcast with Mercado, there were viewers who say you, uh, who saw you as Viking character. Uh, do you feel a bit like a Viking sometimes? Guys, have you watched the TV show that is called uh, Vikings? Uh, you, some of you probably did. And uh, I actually look uh, a bit like, um, shit, the son of Ragnar. Um, I forgot his name, God damn it, Bjorn, Bjorn Lothbrok, yes. I look a bit like a Bjork, but I'm just a skinnier version of him because that dude is huge. Oh my god, that dude is pretty big and I'm, I'm just a skinny version of him, but we look alike. So yeah, probably I see myself as a Viking character. <laughs> okay, Annie was saying, it was an awesome stream, Rick. If I didn't already know it, uh, it would I would not have guessed that you were on little sleep. Great, great job. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Thank you very much. Was the watermelon crop in Kherson Her ruined because of floods? Uh, yeah, I guess it was. Uh, everything was ruined. It's actually a crazy catastrophe that caused by fucking terrorist state. Uh, and and yes, uh, it did. People's people lost their homes, and a lot of fields were flooded. A lot of forests they will die. A lot of animals died. And god damn it, it, it's so fucking sad to, to think about it and what other catastrophes Russians will bring until our victory. So we must not stop supporting the armed forces of Ukraine because they are the only ones who are bringing us closer to the victory. Also received a donation, $21.77 from Lynn Stefanitsyn. Thank you very much, Lynn. Uh, thank you. Also, tell me if uh, I'm pronouncing your name correctly, because yesterday I was watching The Shills and uh, someone tried to pronounce your name and it was... I think my version is better than that one. <laughs> uh, it was just a bit funny. But yes, thank you very much for the donation. Um, okay, any... I've read your message, let's move on. Uh, okay, gonna miss some of them, sorry. But Chris Connie, uh, welcome to the stream. 20 gifted from Noel, uh, that was a long time ago, but I'm still there, guys. I'm not getting to messages in time, uh, but I'm trying my best <laughs> to catch up with them. Mythic Plague, good work, Tim. Yeah, Tim is, is just a legend. Thank you very much, Timothy, again. And Mythic Plague, welcome to the stream. Um, okay. Okay, Caitlin R, stand with Ukraine. Yes, guys, please stand with Ukraine. You already do that, I know. If you're in this stream, you're standing with Ukraine. You're amazing. Okay. Uh, Judgment D Days is saying, Hey, Rick, wanna apologize? I'm 
embarrassed for not being able to upgrade my membership badges. Someone uh, in Illinois several time, uh, several states from me stole the little money I live off of was done online. Oh shit, I'm so sorry to hear that judgment day and no need to apologize. If you guys are not, you know, renewing your memberships, upgrading them and all that stuff, it's totally fine. It's understandable and totally okay. So don't worry about that at all. $50 from Kathleen R. Kathleen uh, is saying donation for thermal imaging. Thanks, Rick, for your dedication and hard work for the defenders of Ukraine. Thank you, Case Lenar, for being here always, for donating this time and all the times, and for you guys. Uh, I am just a, like, you know, a messenger, a, a mobilizer of, uh, I don't know, I'm an encourager. <laughs> uh, I do that job, but the most important is uh, what you do, guys. You... Um, being generous and understanding how it's important to support the armed forces because you guys know that they are fighting for all of us not just ukraine all the free world uh, actually is protected by the armed forces of ukraine right now because if russia wins no i'm not saying shit it won't win i'm sure that if uh shit i'm sure that russia won't win but if we um I forgot the great word, but I'm not going to go and translate it. But if we suggest, if we just imply, maybe imply, that Russia wins this war, then mm, all those fa fascist regimes, regimes, all those totalitarian regimes, they will have the example that you can actually invade other countries in 21st centuries and nothing will happen to you. You can get away with it. So, yeah, guys, it's really important that we win. In this war because if russia will win then we will fucking just a second we will fucking uh get into the era of uh, <sighs> damnation the era of uh, wars total wars everywhere in the world and uh, all those fascists will, will yeah they will think that they just they can just e easily invade any country and get away with that. This is why this will cause more wars, and it's terrible. I don't want this, so we need to win. And we are together with you guys. This is why it will not happen. I mean, our loss will not happen, and the domination. Uh, I'm an optimistic guy, and I believe that everything uh, is in our hands, and everything will be fine. And not just fine, everything is going to be great. Of course, uh, it cannot be great considering the losses we have, how many people we lost, how many lives were uh, taken by Russians. Um, but but we still, uh, there, there, there's a price of democracy, freedom, and, you know, uh, what else? What else? Freedom, democracy, independence, wins. Uh, this is a, the price, unfortunately, and I don't want, I don't even want to um, try to justify it. it. It's just terrible, terrible tragedy that must not ever happen. This fucking Russia, if it, if it just, is just invading us because it exists. It, it's something that they love to do, and they, they've been doing it for centuries. This is why they, they keep doing it. But okay, let, we'll, we'll get back to that. Without my card, I went shopping and they said my bank account was empty, says Judgment, Judgment Day. Oh my God, so sorry, Judgment Day. Jade, we stand with Zelensky. Good morning, all. Good morning, Jade. I saw your fist there. Uh, okay. Uh, Dark in Paradise. Hi, how you doing? Oh... Um... Karen L. Hello, friends. I have visitors, but I'm still listening, Rick. Thank you very much, Karen. Um, this is very, I don't know, very touching that you have visitors, but you still listen. Uh, okay. Slava Ukraini says David K. David K. Heroim Slava. Also, I see 10 gifted memberships by OCT. OCT, thank you very much for gifting them. It's very generous. I love your dubs, Rick. Glad you have high level side work. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, those side works are uh, 
website works yeah they are high level and my uh, primary job is also high level but I don't like it like I like this <laughs> I don't like it like I like this <laughs> oh my god but you get what what I mean right guys okay um, good job Rick keep it up Slavo Ukrainian thank you informer thank you very much mythic Blake says Tim thanks for helping Ukraine thank you Tim this is very fucking generous you know um okie dokie can you check i did two purchases yesterday yes suzanne i witnessed uh, two of them let me check it again uh it was ten dollars for me and 25 you you said um uh, damn it how you how did you say we need to go there uh and check it by ourselves uh okay so it was here you said yeah, so 10, you said, hello, Rick, this coffee is for you, my friend. Thank you very much, Lady Bloomer. Uh, and here you said, Rick, please use this as you see fit. Suzanne Niffen. Yes, so Suzanne, uh, these 25 will go to the fundraiser, definitely. And your 30 from uh, a week ago, let, let me see where it was. Yes, here it is, Lady Bloomer, this is for your jar. These 30 still need to be um, withdrawn this uh, Wednesday I wasn't able to do it before and I what I what <laughs> I will do it so $55 uh, minus commission about $5 I guess uh, $50 from you uh, will go to to where to this fundraiser and uh, on the Wednesday or or Saturday, no, not Saturday, or Thursday, yes, Thursday goes after Wednesday, that, that's how it, how it works. So yeah, they will also be added to the jar, and I will report uh, to you in the community tab. And we just got a great, um, great, yes, amazing, <laughs> amazing, a very generous donation from Sir Garrick, uh, $215.08, it, it is fucking generous, it's so fucking generous. Thank you very much, Sir Garrick. Uh, so right now we have raised, um, let me check how much we have raised. Uh, I actually have some money here. Uh, not only the donations, but other money. Let me check how much we have there. Yeah, I guess, so I need to, to check, let me minus do the minus and I, I will check we'll check yes for now we have seven hundred and twenty six dollars and eighty five cents thank you very much guys we're uh, moving to uh, one thousand no we we have a goal at least to get at least one thousand today and I'm sure we're gonna get it uh, yeah, I propose to um, as we do as we usually do propose to get let's say 30 percent of the sum that we're going to raise and give them to helena for med kits as we uh, usually sometimes do or usually do i don't know how uh, this time but uh 30 percent will go to helena and 70 percent will go to this jar for uh them how do you call them thermal scopes yes for the thermal scopes uh just received 20 dollars from secular sakai thank you very much secular sakai thank you for your generous donation now i have to go ask google what goat means in american slang um i know what 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 it means uh, it is you're awesome something like that you're goated uh, means that you're like you got it and you also are kind of kind of um, damn it kind of good at, at this or yeah something like that it's how i know that maybe i'm mistaken okay let me get back to your messages lynn uh hello all says lynn thank you so much for your donation today i have to work on my buy me a coffee says alms uh account and monogram account my credit union gets weird sometimes got it uh, Slava Ukraine says OCT, Heroim Slava OCT. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get to the bottom of the chat. <laughs> Just wasting a lot of time on this, I know, but I want to see what you guys are saying there, okay? In business, you need a business plan with steps to achieve. A banker and credit 
uh, says Duncan Stewart, yes, uh, would be useful in the startup. Uh, good advice on using the equipment can be gleaned from FAQ and other features. Thank you for the advice. For yes, the advice. Um, Chris Campbell is saying hello from Mercado Channel. Hello, Chris Campbell. Welcome to the stream. Um, okay. Okay, Tonessa said, Suzanne, I posted question to Rick. Yeah, they are in our Discord channel, I guess, one of the one of the sections. Okay, OCT just sent $150. Amazing, thank you so much for this generous donation. OCT, you're, you're the best as always. Uh, supporting all, all our channels, Mercado Media, generous donation every time. Uh, a lot of gifted memberships. Uh, then Starsky, if I'm not mistaken, too. Uh, then uh, In Time Show. Then The Shills. Uh, then who else uh, did I forget? Ukraine Matters, I'm not sure. But maybe you you are a generous donator there, too. This is, you're just amazing. Thank you very much, OCT. By the way, uh, CF Beauty calls you Tony, as it's your name, right? Uh, is it okay if I will call you Tony, not T? Uh, and she was saying it on the stream. This is why I th I think um, it's okay to disclose it, right? If it's not okay, tell me, and I won't call you that. <laughs> okay, uh, just tag me when you're gonna be answering to me. Okay, thank you. Um, ever ask a Russian who is your daddy and what does he do? Uh, Missic Plague asks, but no, I didn't. Uh, maybe it was kind of joke, but I don't want to, to laugh right now. If it concerns Russians, because Russians, yeah, they, they could be laughed at, but they are also dangerous. You need to uh, see even the clowns as dangerous person, because they they are. Yes. They do shit even if they are funny, uh, kind of funny, but mostly pathetic, and yes. Hi, everybody. Awesome August T is in the house, says SL. Welcome. Okay. Okay, I talk a lot, but that's what I do. I'm a streamer. <laughs> yes. The original founders of the Kyiv Kyiv region were three Viking brothers. Yes, uh, Ky, Shek, and Horif, and their sister Libit, if you're talking about them. Yes, it's upside down, Rick. What is upside down? Ah, it's upside down. So it's um, MacPigeon. MacPigeon, yes, thank you. Hello from coastal British Columbia. Welcome, Garth McNeil. Always happy to see you here. Um, hmm. oh, the chat has updated, and so I'm missing the messages, a lot of them, but that's, that's my destiny, yes. <laughs> okay, I won't be able to read all the chat, definitely, but you still, guys, um, very cool that you love history enough to know these facts. Thank you. Um, uh, Pigeon. Oh, we are... We are Viking family, says Tone, who's from Norway. Yes, I, I love uh, your Viking cultures. I really love them. NATO should be grateful to Ukraine for defending its borders. Yeah, it should. It should. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we need to thank our partners for giving us weapons. But you know that um, NATO, NATO should be grateful, too, for what Ukraine does to them. <laughs> Not to them, but... Uh, for them, yes, yes, that, that's the right, right way to say it. Uh, okay, Ken Pedersen just became a javelin. Not just, but like half an hour ago, because I talk a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, but I need to speed up in reading messages. Let me see. Uh, okay, a lot of messages. Rick, Alexander Ludwig, okay. Uh, Dick still here? No, Dick was, I guess, Dick Dawson was going away for, for some time. Donna Tarastopolia of Antitila calls of his ponytail and antenna. Ponytail. Oh, antenna. 
this? <laughs> yeah, he has the same haircut as I do, I guess. Hey everyone, I'm quiet but wishing you all the best always, says EL. EL, thank you very much for being here on the stream. Usually, yeah, you're, you're sometimes quiet, but I know that you're there and thank you so much for, for being here. While you be on the shills... Oh, yeah, Irene S is asking me, will you be on the shills um, next weekend? Yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do the simultaneous stream here and with the shills. I'm not sure that it's possible. Probably I will do my stream, then go to the shills after my stream. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how to do that. Rick, uh, yes, I answered that one. Big love, Rick, says Mac Pigeon. Thank you. Uh, Just Calm says, uh, hello, Rick. When the victory? Hope soon. Yeah, who fucking knows when the victor victory is going to come? The victory is going to come when we're going to... Uh, banish all Russians from our territory, including Crimea, Donbass, of course, um, all the territory, 100% of it. Uh, and when Russia is going to be denuclearized, because it, this is not going to be the end of the war when we're going to get them fuck out of here. But uh, yeah, of course, when we're going to kill them all here, who all the Russians who stepped on our land, because that's only this is the only way. Uh, they've invaded us, and until the re last Russian will be eliminated here, they won't go anywhere. That's how they operate. They don't want to go anywhere, and they uh, cannot be easily, how do you call it, forced to do it. They just need to be defeated here on the battlefield. So this is it. Then the nuclearized, and then the buffer zone must be created around Ukraine on the border with Russia and Belarus. I mean, it, when Belarus becomes democratic, when uh, Lukashenko will be decrowned and some democratic yeah, government will appear there, I guess, unfortunately, it will take war too. But yes, that's how it works. I still didn't didn't finish my sentence, the previous one, but you got what I mean. Greg Watkins was saying, sorry Rick, going to throw a couple of bucks in the jar keeps buffering. I restarted my phone, still doing it. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, says jo uh, Jack doing fishing. <laughs> thanks uh, for what? But um, thank you for being here, Jack. Okay, mm, we just had 141 person watching the stream this is actually an awesome result i see 196 likes guys can we please do uh okay how much can we do we can do 250 easy right so we have stream questions stream questions a lot of them but i'm still not answering them because i need to finish with the chat but i'm not i'm not going to be able to finish with it at all right guys but i still want to see what you're saying there um, hey, Mr. Rick, it must be difficult to keep up with a stream. Sometimes we talk to each other in comments. Yes, <laughs> I know that. But you tag me and I'm gonna know that it's a question for me. Rick uh, Taz is saying, okay, uh, taking my aquarium to the new place we're moving in. We'll be back soon. Okay, Taz, come back soon, please. Rick, it's okay. Um, uh, it's okay, we know what you mean. Yes, okay. <laughs> Got it. I still... Cannot keep up with everything. Rick, I really enjoyed seeing you on Good Morning Cave. The camera, um, camera, camera, Dari was wonderful. What, what is camera, Uh Russia would not stop at the Moldovan or Polish border, says Michael. Michael, please don't forget to decapitalize Russia. Uh, it must be, you know, for, uh, it must begin not with a capital R, but with a small one. Please, please do that. <laughs> Hello, Rick. Russia will not win. Matthew, Russia will not win. Please don't forget to decapitalize Russia. Thank you. If Russia were to succeed, Sekai, please don't forget to decapitalize. <laughs> In every message, there's Russia, guys. <laughs> if Russia were to succeed, then Iran, China, fascist regimes, and terroristic theocratic regimes around the world would embolder and bold, no, not bolder, and bodened to attack neighbors. That's what I was talking about. Yes, Sekai, we're on the same page with you in here. On this, in this, yes. Russia invades 
a country occupies it and access it and uses it man to invade the next country yep that's how it works that's how they operate those motherfuckers rick unfortunately i have no paypal i will ask my wife to use hers uh, yeah sir garrick already received your donation thank you very much vladimir putler only exists through multiple doppelgangers yeah i i'm actually sure that when he's gonna die we we're not gonna know that because all those doppelgangers um will will still be impersonating him and we won't know that motherfucker is like a big brother so big brother may never die because he he's never seen the real one right uh, okie dokie, let's move on. Is in the stream. Madeleine Albright is in the stream. We must defend democracy dom domestically and abroad. Her last article in Foreign Affairs by monthly before she passed. Rest her soul. Then I forgot. Yeah, she died. I remember. Damn it. Rick, I have to say I'm impressed with your English. I have a hard time and I am from America. So if you misspeak, it is totally understandable. Thank you very much, Mythic Plague. Rick, have you undergone any military training or previously served? No, I never served. I'm totally not a military man and not a... Uh, yeah, I'm a weak man. Kind of, my, my hands are skinny. Uh, you are actually okay so my health is not very good and i'm uh, i kind of do simple sports like gym and some, some, some that stuff but yeah I, unfortunately i don't fit for the army i guess so never served and i don't think i i would like to because my place i think and uh, is what i'm best at but who knows maybe if russians will come here back here again maybe i will be i will have to who knows rick i have a serious question i don't have any military background but uh, it's just calm asking but if i come will it be difficult to be accepted on ukrainian military i think yeah if you don't have any background you won't be accepted at all they do that uh, only ukrainians who don't have backgrounds getting accepted okay guys rick thank you for um the good fight long live ukraine glory to ukraine from new mexico usa says rambling rogers rambling rogers welcome to the stream and thank you for your kind words um, okay, let's continue. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to catch up with the chat. Also, Anhale just gifted 10 memberships. Anhale, thank you very much. Oh, uh, okay. A lot of messages. Please check stream questions channel, says Tanem. Tanem, I will check them, definitely. And... Still, I still want to accomplish that to get to the bottom of the chat first. Uh, GOAT stands for greatest of all time. Wow, I didn't know that. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, greatest of all time. Oh, thank you. Uh, I mean, thank you for explaining it to me. I wonder why GOATs were being sent. Yeah, they were sent because of that. Because Ukrainians are the greatest of all times, right? Uh, Sally, a lot of them stream their donations and their gift boxes along the top where it says live chat. Uh -huh. You're talking about yourselves again. So, uh, Jess Hart or Hart says, new subscriber from Mercado Media. Love your interview. Thank you very much. Uh, great job, all who helped. Yes, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Courtney Scott was saying, Rick is the greatest of all times. Thanks, uh, brother from Mercado Media. Thank you very much for becoming a member of our community because you guys are awesome. What uh, Mercado is doing there and what how you helping him is just amazing. Keep doing it and welcome here and let's um, you know let's help the armed forces of Ukraine together. So uh, I received another coffee, twenty five coffees. God bless you, Rick. Um, it's Sally Laz saying. Uh, 
Thank you very much, Sally. Keep up the good work. Ukraine will win. Thank you. Thank you very much for this generous 25 coffees. And I guess someone else bought 20 coffees for the thermal scope. Slava Ukraini. Uh, who was that? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, and then 20 more. So it's going to be f uh, 75 from Buy Me a Coffee. I need, I'll need to report you there uh, in the community tab later. So we're going back to Buy Me a Coffee and we're checking if it's written who was sending those 20. These 20 for the thermal scopes were sent by Susa. Susa, well, thank you very much. Uh, these 20 will be added, definitely. Uh, have a couple of streams up, checking up, uh, checking on Anna from Ukraine video. We definitely got to cooperate and co-stream with Anna too. I still don't know her. I mean, like uh, in... And I haven't checked her streams too, so I don't know much about her. I know that she's Ukrainian and that she's fighting Russian propaganda and told, tell, telling you about Ukraine, just doing all, almost the same that I do, right? Maybe exactly the same, but but yeah, uh, that's what I was talking about. By the way, I missed Yvonne Way's uh, five gifted memberships. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Um, then, 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 then. We're moving on. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I'm a low tech Luddite. 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 It's a new word for me, said Lally, uh, Sally Laws, but you were talking amongst themselves there, right? Okay. Mm. T Sin. Welcome to the stream. RF from USA. Watching but working, so won't be in the chat. RF from USA. Thank you very much, anyway, for being here. And. Uh, I'm sorry for that uh, one comment. I guess you understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, sorry. And let's move on. Jets115. Hi, Rick and Chad. Thank you for who gifted me a membership, says Jets. Uh, Jets, welcome to the stream. I'm always happy to see you here. Money, waiting for NATO to rise to the occasion. Hesitating on the lessons taught from World War II. Yeah, I really would love that they learn that. Uh, money. Welcome to the stream. I uh, love to see you here as always. I ass was saying, Sir NATO uh, was created for defense from Russia, so Ukraine is doing NATO job without NATO equipment. Yeah, uh, actually with NATO equipment, but without NATO army. So uh, they're giving us the equipment, but not all of it. For example, we still don't have huge bombers like B 50, right? We would love to get them someday, but F 16 is the first step. Then maybe some, uh, how do you call them, them those command uh, planes, huge command posts, no, not posts, but hmm, like headquarters in the sky, those, those huge uh, jets. So we still need to build up a, a air fleet, right? You call it that way. Um, let's move on with messages. Bevry, Bev R is saying from Canada, enjoy your videos. Thank you very much, Bev R. Uh, the shields are so fun. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, okie doke. Uh, okie doke. <laughs> Wait, victory will come when NATO quits making Ukraine fight with the arm tied behind their back. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. Uh, I see 141 person on the stream at the moment. Uh, please don't forget to like the stream. It's uh, 211 likes. We can definitely do 300 today, guys. Let's please uh, fix this goal and and achieve it, right? Okay. Okay. Moving on with messages. Um, from a high USA says Mark, love you guys. Mark, thank you and welcome to the stream, welcome to the community. Uh, it's pretty friendly, it's pretty awesome and Vatniks are not welcome here and they can fuck off if they will come. I mean, they will be instantly banned. <laughs> no, uh, but you know what? Actually, Vatniks, there's no, uh, no, like, no need to argue with them. You just ban them, you just ghost them. Uh, no, not like that. But of course we need to fight Russian propaganda. But um, getting into discussion with with Vatnik is with troll. It's like, yeah, with every, any troll, you, you will have no result. Because the uh, goal of trolling is making you um, 
pissed and feed the troll and just um, just getting off your track and getting distracted and getting fucked up eventually. Hell, maybe he already died. Potler of of old would have never let this mutiny slide. Yeah, I agree. He could have died already. Um, Rick, but your spirit is strong. Yes, our spirit is strong. Uh, Kamara, Kamara Dari is a good buggies getting along with each other. Oh my god, it's a hard word to remember. I, I'm not sure that I will. Uh, Timothy the Cold was asking me, when are they going to give you, uh, give you your own morning show on national TV, like Good Morning Ukraine? <laughs> well, maybe never, because I'm not a Ukrainian speaker. I'm a, um... You know, I'm a, an English speaker in this case, in this matter, and I'm also a Ukrainian speaker. Uh, I can speak Ukrainian pretty well, but uh, my audience is around the world, not in Ukraine. And Ukrainians don't know me, and I'm not sure that they will know me um, at all, but someday maybe they will. Maybe we'll, we'll reach the, the scale of our community that big. Don't forget to join our Discord, moderators, dear, please um, send those links to the Discord channel. You guys, please go join it. And uh, I have, wow, guys, by the way, I have a uh, exclusive dub there. Uh, there's an exclusive dub. Uh, so you, it's not on YouTube, uh, the interview with uh, Prisoner of War. By the way, Chris Botton said tw sent $20. Uh, amazing, thank you so much for this donation. Every stream, Chris sends $20 every stream. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. And uh, getting back to Timothy, thank you so much for a great question, but uh, you, you've heard my answer. <laughs> you are serving right now by help with uh, donations. Keep doing it, says, says Jess Hart. Thank you very much, Jess Hart. Rick, please say hello to my sister, Cindy Schuler, and thank you. Hello to um, Stefanon, sister Cindy Schuler. Thank you for being a supporter of Ukraine too. I'm sure that you are, right? <coughs> oh my god, <coughs> I got choked a bit. <coughs> I gotta drink more. I'm so uh, hyperactive today, guys. Now, you've probably noticed that, right? Getting the messages uh jade was saying you're you're damn right rick thank you uh hey my brother rick uh yeah hey my brother my um cousin cousin nikita makashev is there yes rick uh i'm just about free here 10 minutes uh, dick dawson dick was it uh, 30 minutes ago <laughs> shit mercado is awesome yes uh let me get back there and see what I missed. I missed a lot. So Dick was saying, was saying, oops, uh-huh, got it. So you probably, Dick, you're probably already here, right? Oh, okay, Rick, uh-huh. I'm almost caught up with all the messages, guys. It's almost done. Uh, yes, so we're gonna get to Dick pretty soon. <laughs> yes, we're gonna get there pretty soon and be together. Rick, what are some well-known Ukrainian language works of literature and film everyone should read, see or at least once? That's actually a question from Sekai and it's a question from Discord, from um, questions channel uh, or section. We call them channels or section. I will answer really quick. Uh, the new movie, uh, I cannot say anything historical. I mean, tell you anything historical right now. My brain is a bit foggy at the moment in this case, in, in this question, yeah, uh, but uh, I would say Pamphir, uh, it's a modern movie that went out not so long ago, let's actually google it, uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna show you, um, oh, it's on Netflix, guys, it's also on Netflix, Pamphir, uh, it's a, yeah, it's an amazing movie, go there, uh, go to Netflix and watch it. Pamphira is definitely, definitely worth watching. Um, yeah, there's a trailer, but we're not gonna watch it right now. Watch, not wash. We're not gonna wash it. <laughs> okay. I heard the Ukrainian army likes to recruit gamers as behind the lines drone operators. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Gamers are 
pretty good, especially the VR ones, because, for example, I don't have a VR and I never had it. I played it, of course, but just like a one hour or two hours per life. <laughs> and, you know, I, I got really wobbly when I was there. But guys who used to VR, uh, they can easily operate those FPV drones. Uh, so they are actually pretty skilled for it. So it was Pamphir and for literature, uh, Pamphir is the movie, and for literature, uh, it's going to be Kobzar, of course, uh, and Mashumeni, our great moderator and uh, member of our community, can help you with the uh, English version of that. Find him on Discord and uh, message him. He will send you the Kobzar. So, answered your questions, Sekai. At least one question from uh, Extreme Questions section is answered. I'm going to get back to that, guys. Don't worry. Uh, Dick, uh, glad to see you, buddy, says Sekai. Awesome, awesome, nice question, Sekai. Yes, I want to know too. You guys know it now. Okay, okay, let me let me get to the bottom first. Then we go to Dick Dawson, right? <laughs> Dick, sorry that I'm keeping you waiting. I hope you still have time. Um, need air support, says Money. Yeah, we definitely need it. Okay. Okay, everyone, when you want to talk to another person in live chat, put the tag in front of their name. Yeah, Summiland, uh, thank you for a good advice and welcome. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Good? Um, good to see you here, yes. Um, you, you were just typing good. I mean, writing good. Um, Storm Songs is saying, oh, good to see familiar faces, names, Aussie team, I'd hug you if I could. So great to see you all. Uh, to see all the support between channels. Yeah, it's really great to see it. Thank you for being here, guys. Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, five OC team memberships? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for all those memberships, Aussie. Um, Suzanne Melendi was saying 90% of those trolls are bots. Uh, the more you interact with them, the more they boosted by the algorithms. Yeah, that's it. That's a great uh, point. Will the Ukrainian army accept me as a soldier? I've answered that, yes. Oh no, I answered someone else's question. I served as a soldier in the paratroopers for three years in the Israeli army. You, if you really want to do it, if you really, really want to come to, sorry, come to Ukrainian army, you got to contact the nearest uh, Ukrainian embassy there or consulate, it is called. Uh, and they will provide you will, with all the information. I don't have the answer for your question, but they do. Please contact them. Would be really, uh, you know, uh, glad to have another experienced soldier to fight for us. If you're really willing to do that, please contact them. Uh, your bench. Okay. So, okay. Uh, interesting message from Ramblin Rogers or Rokes. Yes, Rokes. Uh, sarcasm. NATO basically said, when Ukraine defeats Russia, NATO will let Ukraine join and then help protect them from Russia. Ironic and stupid. Definitely. Definitely ironic and stupid. Speaking to Russians as you were taught is no sin. Uh, speaking Russians as you were taught is no sin. Actually, the Swin state in the thing? I don't understand what you're talking about. You can publicly right now uh you'll get there bro says jade thank you very much um okay 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 i almost got to the bottom guys i almost did it <laughs> mm, okay so dick dawson i can so imagine you in a band yes mm, the surreal taco was asking me rick will ukraine institute a civilian i.e no military experience force for the mining your lands i guess we will do everything. I mean, like the military, the civilian too, because the ter number of territories is just uh, astonishing. How many many territories we have mined right now, Rick? What is your next goal after the thermal scopes? Uh, anything our f soldiers request? We receive requests uh, all the time, and I still don't know what it's gonna be, but. Uh, it's definitely going to be either car, drones, thermal scopes, night vision, or... And medkits, of course. Yeah, uh, that that's five most needed things. Uh, and we'll, we'll get to that after this one. 
Ooh, okay. Almost at the bottom, guys. Almost there. Anyone was tagging me? No one was tagging me, I guess. Please tag me if you want to ask me something. Aha, uh -huh. I got to the bottom, guys. Yep, I did it. M Dao, welcome. Uh, Charlie Sheen is saying, Rick, do you know what time the grain deal ends? Soon, I guess, in the end of this month. And it's going to be renewed because Erdogan sa said so to Putin. Uh, Putin will do anything Erdogan will tell him. Because Putin is a tiny little scared thing who is actually only trying to, to seem uh, scary and big and dangerous. But he's actually a, just a stupid tiny slime. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the chat. Dick, are you ready to join me? And I'm going to get to the stream questions on Discord right now. Let me get there. Let me get there. I won't forget to do this. Uh, this time so the messages from uh, from you guys there the first message was from Sekai I answered it thank you for a great question uh, but but we need to move 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 oh Sekai I, I didn't answer another more questions and from Tone guys should I get to your questions last <laughs> what do you think because I know you have a privilege to ask me the question first. You're moderators. You're amazing. Um, what do you think? Tell me. Susan said, I think the grain deal ends tomorrow. Today, the last ship left Odessa. Not sure. Uh, I think... Oh, actually, it's probably for good. I have uh, an opinion that if this grain deal ends, we will be able to uh, finally sink the Russian ships, the military ships. Uh, ships who are blocking uh, the the ports and all that stuff all the corridors i mean yeah we can do that putin's impudent parallel little universe says jade yeah you're right jade the questions indian vinny is asking rick how do you think cluster munitions going to be used probably awesome for drones for drones really no they're going to be used against uh, russian uh, infantry, they're in the fields, in the trenches. It's not going to be used in the cities. You know, we're not like Russia. Uh, we seen how Russia is using it. Uh, Sekula Sekai is saying you can answer mine in the end. But cluster munition is something that Russia is using uh, since the very beginning of this full-scale invasion and even beyond that. Even before that, they use it all the time. So it's not something new. It's just being shown that it's wow it's crazy something new by russia who who is actually doing using those fucking cluster munitions for years for nine fucking years and now for the last year and a half they've been doing it crazy like not big but in in huge huge numbers of those munitions okay guys the questions uh we'll get to them after dick will join us right let me invite him give me a minute uh hey dick <laughs> you are the only live show says duncan stewart really i am am i <laughs> 125 people amazing did we get 300 likes yet no it's 226 can we do 300 please guys uh guys please can we do <laughs> yeah you know what i mean but i will get to the questions uh, after I invite Dick. Dick, Dick, how are you doing? What I'm gonna ask you in here when you come. Just give me a second. Two people. Like this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna change your camera view after uh, I, I invite you. Okay, the, the flag for now. But I, I'm sure you love to see this flag. Here's the link, Dick. I'm gonna send it to you on. On what? Uh huh. You were actually messaging me, but I didn't see it. Sorry. I can. I need to keep keep my attention on three chats, so I'm not good at multitasking. This is why I'm missing a lot. <laughs> 
Cluster munitions are controversial only because many UN countries have banned them. The militaries of USA, Ukraine and Russia never have recognized the international ban. Yeah, we actually have never signed that paper. So Russia is actually never signed it too. This is why they are not in the right. Um, they're not in the right to talk about that at all. This is why it's stupid Russian propaganda. It doesn't deserve to to be listened to. Hello, Dick. Hey. Happy to We've see you. We've done it. Done <laughs> you it, too, yes. man. How you doing? How you doing? I'm great. Thank you, man. Happy to see you. Um, yeah. And what? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> yes, it's great to be able to join you here. I'm just getting the chat popped out so I can keep up and everything and whatnot. Uh, I've just recently switched back to Mac from being a PC sufferer for a few years, and I'm still kind of getting my bearings 100% on uh, making sure everything's good, but I'm close. I'm really close. But yeah, I was watching earlier, uh, you know, things are going great here. Um, yep. Uh, you know, um, I, I, I saw a lot of the fellow babies from the shills in the chat. So hi, everybody. And, you know, like I, I call the viewers the fellow babies. You know, I got a little <laughs> nickname for them, right? I think a great one for you guys is the Rick Rollers. Rick Rollers. You know, say hi to the Rick Rollers, man. Hey, Rick Rollers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for a new name. It's interesting, Dick. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah, we're happy to see you here, man. I'm just adjusting the screen. This is why I'm a bit distracted. So we both fit, you know, all that shit. And then I need to manage right here on the stream while you are talking. So uh, just yeah. let me let me figure it out. So my no camera worries. should be above your camera, I guess. Yep. Uh, let me. Yeah, that's it. So I need to short shorten it a bit. Not like this. <laughs> I uh, I usually uh, the the guys on my team. If I'm doing a little bit like what you're doing in the background uh, production stuff, they yeah. know to start talking over top to give me a break because it's really hard to come up with crap to yeah. say when you're doing all this <laughs> other stuff. In it, <laughs> yeah, man, you're totally right. Yeah, uh, you know, you start fumbling and uh, and you don't want to do uh uh and whatnot all the time. So yeah. you, you end up with these little phrases and stuff that you repeatedly say to fill that moment when you're trying. Trying to accomplish the thing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Um, some some people dropped just now, like about twenty people. What the fuck, guys? Dick just came and you dropped. <laughs> Actually, yeah. those who dropped uh, couldn't hear me, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. No one was hearing me being rude to them. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, I love to have fun, and I know you're big um, having fun guy. Uh, I I really love the vibe of your streams, guys. The shills is just legendary, and uh, I'm really glad that our community start to intertwine. And mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really awesome that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'm gonna be coming to your show next week, next Sunday. Yeah, you know, yeah. We just yeah, say it, say it. Yeah, and we, ju we just got to get the time sorted. Uh, Starsky knows it'll be Sunday instead of Saturday and that we're going to go a little bit earlier. And, you know, he he's basically on walkabout right now, so he's cool with it. It don't matter, right? Yeah, yeah it was actually awesome to meet Starsky in person. I've never actually met him online yet. Like, we weren't oh. streaming together. Uh, and so first time meeting him was... Uh, there in person and damn i really liked the guy i my first impression was damn was so awesome we met uh there uh before um andrew's house and mm -hmm. uh, we had had some small talk and i really liked starsky so uh he he's amazing and uh, he's I, a yeah, he's a real genuine person, and he's yes. a total heart in his sleeve kind of guy. Like you get what you get. He he doesn't he doesn't overly hold back, um, but at the same time, he won't be like mean because just to be mean. Like he, he's he's got a really lovely balance to things. He, it's yeah. really easy once you get to know him. It's really easy to see how he took off as a YouTuber because he's totally got the right personality for delivery. You yeah. know, he really comes across great. Definitely, I He's, agree. You know, and I I really wish I could meet him live because I've gotten to know him quite well over time, yes. and uh, I can't wait until we can just sit down, relax, have a drink, and do a live stream in the same location. Yeah, oh, I can't awesome. wait. 
come yeah. to Ukraine, man, when you can. I'm, yeah. Yeah, the uh, my my son, he's sixteen. He's on the autism spectrum, and I do mm -hmm. a majority of the parenting on my own. So, you know, we have to wait until things are more resolved before we can come over. But yeah. there's definitely a plan. You know, this is awesome. I have actually watched the atypical TV show. Uh, have you watched that one? I don't think so. Uh, it's a great TV show that I recommend to you guys, uh, to everyone. Uh, it's It um, will show you, it will um, like sincerely show you everything that families uh, who have a child with uh, autism with, in spectrum, oh. as, we, as we must say it these days, right? Uh, we must say uh, the spectrum and, uh, right? I think autism is a bit old term, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, cause I mean, like there used to be Asperger's and yes. now that's just part of the autism spectrum. And so, uh, people, people actually in, uh, especially in my area around North America here, um, it, it's more common now to say, oh, my, my child is on the spectrum yeah, versus the spectrum. my child is autistic. Yes, yeah. Yes. That's, uh, that's actually, I think that's a, a more polite way to, to, uh, I think, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I in these more um, worldly discussions, I use both words just in case that uh, it's not translating a hundred percent. I want to make sure that you know things get through. Yeah, but, thank you. You know, uh, but yeah. yeah, I know the term, and I wanted to say that atypical. Uh, it has three or four se seasons. It's about a guy in the spectrum. Uh, he is. Um, uh, I guess around 20 or 21 years old, he's about to finish the school uh, and damn it, it shows um, it shows a lot about how many things uh, you guys, you families, your family struggle with and mm -hmm. how much you have to work on um, simple uh, socialization, so socializing things, you know, uh, just right. to, um, but it works. There are, uh, there are plans, as you said, there are uh, ways to um, uh, learn everything for a, a kid in the spectrum. And uh, it's totally manageable to, um, you know, to have a, a full life for them. So Oh, yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's amazing. And I'm really, you know, um, I admire you for for thanks. for doing what you're doing for, parenting, <laughs> yeah. for your parenting. And I, I really know, thanks to that great TV show, how how it's hard. And this is why I admire. Oh, you. yeah. Thank you. Well, um, coming. Uh, if you go back about two years on the shills, Amy Hogan, uh, one of the my partners on the shills, uh, also has a son on the autism spectrum, and we used to do a show called Autism, but it was an acronym. It was always unique, uh, totally interesting, sometimes mysterious, and yeah. uh, and cool. we would just talk about. You know, we'd go over little print presentations and talk about skills that work for you know lots of kids that aren't even on the spectrum that just have a little trouble and issues and stuff and we're talking about bringing that show back coming up because as we're meeting more and more people and the show is growing and stuff we're finding a lot of people that are in similar circumstances to us and so we're thinking you know we might as well bring that show back soon and get a community built and everybody can you know wow. chatter and help and support and stuff it'd be great yeah this is awesome i would definitely uh um how do you how do i say it? promote your show yeah and uh i will will gladly come there too so yeah yeah, this, yeah that'd this, be great uh, awesome uh initiative and i would love you to continue it so that's cool thanks yeah i i wanted to discuss with you yes uh like uh nato joining nato let's do it. this let's comes do up it. so much right yes. um so you know you got you got you got the, the 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 argument that makes sense to a lot of people that you know let's get some rules changed so we can get things happening because then in, instead of just financial support flowing in and whatnot you could have a concert action like you know you, you know um and then you've got the other people who say, well, I understand the argument and it's a really good one, but the rule is while in conflict, nothing can be done. Well, you know, look at uh, like, uh, let's say America as an example, because, you know, there's always arguments about the amendments, right? You know, gun control arguments. And I'm not going into them. You know, that's not my thing. But um, there was an amendment. Things changed. 
you can always change. And so is this not maybe a time in the life of the average person in the world to say to the like NATO, UN and so on and whatnot, you know, maybe it's time to change those moments where instead of being passive until there's nothing to worry about, it, it becomes a little bit more of a, you know, we don't like one picking on the other and you become more of the guy in school that broke up the fights the bully was trying to start. Mm hmm. Um, where do you where do you stand on something like that? Like uh... you're making a great point in this, and it's actually what Zelensky is saying. Uh, he he says that the world must change to prevention, not to mm -hmm. uh, just uh, dealing with those emergencies. We must learn how to prevent such invasions, such conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a conflict; it's a war. It's invasion. Yeah, uh, yeah. We we just yeah. hate when people are saying conflict uh, about this war and i am uh, really pissed myself but sometimes i say conflict and then rick what the fuck are you saying please call it yeah. war please call it invasion yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah we we need to learn to prevent but these organizations um you know it's in their mm, basics in um uh, the fundamental rules that right. they are based yeah. that in, in star in star trek parlance it's the uh the uh, prime directive prime directive yes uh and prime directive right. is you must not intervene into the uh you know matters of planets right of civilization mm -hmm. yeah i remember that one uh, I'm a yeah. Star Trek fan, if, as you have heard. If you, yeah, you were listening to the beginning of the stream. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. yeah, live long and prosper, Canadian people. Thanks for all the help. <laughs> uh, thank you, man. And um, getting back to NATO, uh, these organizations like UN, like NATO, they are unfortunately uh, have shown that they uh, could be inefficient or even um, how do you call it, impotent? No, no, not mm -hmm. impotent. That's not a bad one, actually, yeah. <laughs> if you want to throw a little shade while you're at it. Yes, is. yes, I want to. Uh, so they they cannot uh, actively, actively act, oh my God, <laughs> those not native speakers. Um, so what I, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about myself. Uh, yeah. and, okay, so they either should be rep ref reformed to its core, which is practically impossible, I must say. Yeah. Uh, or they could be. There could be some new organizations. That well, if you if you go back far enough in history, you do have what was the what was it the League of Nations yeah. that evolved. So there has been a transition once, but um, you're talking about a whole bunch of people who are. Are I, I don't know, kind of born and bred with this hesitance of kind of Cold War yeah. attitude and stuff in them, and that's it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and but just cement asses, you know. Actually, those people, they it's like 90, 95 percent, as I feel it, in those organizations, and they will do everything to keep things as they are. Um, yeah, yeah. Because the hesitance that that is um, a like they live in, it is um, actually affecting how they act in terms of uh, reorganizing how they operate in those organizations. Yeah. And yeah, and reorganizing those organizations. So it's uh, not an easy task. Um, and as I see it, I don't know what, how the hell, actually, I don't have an answer. I don't, don't see it anyway, how the hell... Uh, NATO can be proactive and it, it can be uh, as brave as um, Boris Johnson is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you heard his uh, address yesterday that he said that NATO uh, need to stop hesitating and um, let Ukraine in right away, right here, right yeah. now? 
Yeah. I was I was surprised, but then again, you know, I remember when he was the mayor of London and he was on the the automotive show Top Gear, and he was just this bumbling, funny guy that came across like he was half drunk, and uh, and then one day he's running the country, and I was shocked. You know? <laughs> I mean, of course, he's a politician, and he will say anything to get his ratings uh, higher. I'm not uh, having any illusions about that. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that. But anyway, uh, I see him as uh, a pretty brave guy in terms of supporting Ukraine. He was always there Very much. first. He wasn't yeah. hesitant. He was providing us, uh, I guess, it, it was not only him, but uh, people of Great Britain, of course, because mm -hmm. they all hate Russia and they all uh, support us. Uh, oh, but yeah. he was the voice of those people. And I'm not sure that other leader at his place some other leader i'm not, I'm not sure that he would be so brave and um yeah yeah proactive yeah yeah no i agree and i give him kudos for it too because right now that's not exactly the popular opinion and nobody else in power wants people spouting that right now they all just want to you know siphon off some funds and send it over and that's that they want a hands-off approach yep and uh great britain is actually being um usually given the example uh, about some weapons. They first gave us mm. tanks. Uh, they were yeah. first to give us those cruise missiles. Uh, it, it's the only... Now we have French uh, cruise missiles that are actually the same, but Great Britain was the first to give them to us. And we're really uh, grateful to them. And, of course, it, it associates with... Uh, Boris Johnson, because he was the first prime minister to cooperate with us during the full-scale yeah. invasion. It, it just yeah. happened historically. But Rishi yeah. Sunak is actually doing the same great job. He is being proactive in terms mm -hmm. of teaching our soldiers to uh, operate F-16s. And he was the one who gave us those cruise missiles first. So he's doing the, yeah. just the same great job. And yeah. everything's I agree. going great. Yeah, I agree there for sure. I agree. Um, I, I got to say, you know, um, uh, one of the things I, I find odd about all the the Ukraine streaming and whatnot, uh, no, not odd, but unexpected a bit, was as the news started to come out more and more and some personalities formed that became our go-tos for information, how much about the culture and the people you were learning at the same time? And... I think now, with all that everyone knows about Ukraine, I think as soon as this is all done and the orcs have been, you know, either buried or kicked out, and I think the tourism is going to be off the wall. And I really hope that uh, Ukraine's infrastructure is ready for the amount of people that are going to show up. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> yeah, man, you're right uh, that... Uh, I, I think the same. I think the uh, tourism will be booming and uh, people from all over the free world will be coming here because I see the chat is just dying to come to Ukraine to see Kyiv and we have a lot more great pl places like Kherson. Of course, I'm going to take people to Donetsk and Makivka where I'm from. Have you heard about that too? Oh, yeah, you were listening to the stream. That I really, yeah, yeah. originally am from Donbass. So, yeah, yeah. definitely... Uh, I'm going to be uh, taking people there and showing some great places. We have a lot of them there, too. Uh, so, yeah, you're right. And infrastructure, about that. Uh, it will handle everything because uh, we showed um, great um, adaption skills. You know, we, we adapt to everything. Uh, oh, yeah. And... And the military training, the way that y Ukrainian armed forces are able to adapt and use other people's weaponry and stuff that's foreign to them in such rapid ways yeah. is properly impressive. Many, like uh, Commander McMillan from the End Time Show, who also joins the Shills sometimes, he's a naval commander who went through all the schooling and everything. He's like the real deal, man. He ordered a lot of people around and he just, he's gobsmacked that people are just walking up and going yeah i got this you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, yeah and i must say that you know of course uh, that our soldiers are uh, learning that fast is um, a matter of motivation because they have uh, their 
lives, the lives of their uh, beloved ones at loved stake. Ones and and yeah. we, we have, I mean, as I've heard from some great um, people, like, for example, John Sweeney at the morning show a couple of days back uh, at Mercado's here in mm -hmm. Kiev, uh, he said that it's, I guess, it's the most... Um, Shit, I won't repeat those words because they are pretty complex as I'm not British <laughs> and that, <laughs> that guy is a writer and oh my god, I won't say uh, better, but he, um, you know, I, I will say it with my words that this war is is the most black and white war ever uh, for, the, for the last 80, at least 80 years, maybe ever because oh you almost you almost got to go back yes. to like Genghis Khan to find a son of a bitch like this man <laughs> you know? yeah you 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 see that it's so fucking uh, simple russia just invaded us bluntly no one uh, i mean of course mm -hmm. let, let's say no conscious person has any illusions about that <laughs> uh, b because yeah of course we have a lot of unconscious people in the world who still believe rush propaganda and uh, believe in all those um, conspiracy theories you know how um, a huge part of US is still uh, oh. on that track <laughs> yeah man so oh. they will believe Russian propaganda the, just the same <laughs> well yeah all you have to do is look in America the history channel is where you find ancient aliens the TV show Enough said. Sorry, everybody, but come on, it's true. Yes, it's it's just <laughs> just that stupid. And flat Earth is still pretty popular among uh, some people around the world. And oh my God, it, it's scary. And what were what kind of world we still live in? And it's scary because Russia still exists and China yeah. still exists. Those empires are really scary. North Korea. I'm not talking about that. Oh. Uh, place i was about to swear on that place but uh, <laughs> i stopped myself there because uh <laughs> if yeah. if they will have uh, i i'm sure that if those people uh will have their regime removed in some decades they will come to come back to normal life too because they are yeah. just the same simple people as all we all are um, yeah. i see the comment in the chat uh from cf beauty your amazing moderator who is already my friend. Yes, uh, Sea of Beauty. She's amazing. She said, Commander McMillan was well known throughout the, the military. I even heard of him while I was in the military. He is a legend, Dick Dawson. Uh, yeah. He, uh, yeah, definitely. I am. Uh, I listened to McMillan there on End Time Show, uh, and I want to come back to the show when he he's going to be there because I really want to talk to him too because that guy is really uh, experienced and smart. And yeah. uh, now I know that he's a legend also in the military. <laughs> yeah, we, we got this thing over on the shelves when Commander McMillan's on with us and somebody asks an important question. We pause because Starsky and McMillan usually decide between them who's going to start and who's going to finish because, <laughs> you know, nobody can keep up to those two when it comes to those really intense military type things. Right. And Commander yeah. McMillan, he's just always got it in his back pocket. You know, it's just yeah. crazy, you know. No, you know. But I must say, I cannot agree with some of his points because. Um, yeah, yeah. Just like That's Starsky, fair. just like Starsky, yeah. because I, I know that uh, we here in Ukraine, we judge Russians differently because we've seen them better than Americans. Right. And of course, Commander McMillan has some experience and points uh, about USSR, you know, fighting them and all that stuff in the Cold War. Uh, but mm. he he didn't have uh, our centralized in yeah. experience, you know. We, we've been dealing with those fuckers from 1447, I guess, when they yeah. first invaded Kiev Rus. And those, yeah, they, they've came from the Golden Horde and they um, keep their all those traditions still yeah. before. So yeah, another uh, question for you. Yeah. Um, it's from Surreal Taco. Guys, I'm using the stream questions Discord uh, section. Finally, I'm using it. So Sekai was redirecting this question. How much fundraising would it take to get Dick to get a Cossack Viking haircut? 
<laughs> How much fundraising will it take, Dick? <laughs> uh, okay, let me, I'll have to have a think, but um, that's a big one because I mean, I don't do change well. Uh, I wear very plain, like plain t shirts with nothing on them, well, except for the shill shirt. And, mm. uh, uh, you know, um, and I grew this hair out the way it is now when I was like 12 to 14. And I'm in my early 50s. Oh, my God. So you got this you know, hair I, from your 12 or 14? Yeah, I started being like a little wannabe rock and roller when I was pretty young. But by the time I was 14, I was already good enough to uh, like playing guitar and stuff to be in a band and play live. I just was too young. And when I was like 16, 17, I was in bands that played in bars and they would kick me out of the bar as soon as I was done on stage. I wasn't allowed to be in there. But <laughs> I, because I was like 17, 18, I was allowed to be on stage quick. So I'd have to sit out in the van and everybody else would be in there drinking and stuff. Stuff, you know so but i got to play yeah you know and then you know and then you, yeah so you know you never um you never wanted to change your hairstyle ever well i i worked as a musician until like my mid-30s so it kind of worked for me and you know uh and then afterwards it's like literally i can i can get out of the shower and i just kind of quickly run my hands through it and i'm good i don't have to do all this other crap and yada yada blah blah i just pull it back into a ponytail and run away so it's just I just can't, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So, but I'll have a think about it because, you know, if we, yeah. if, if something that could be done where I go on a few channels and really get a few people into it and we really get something going and stuff. Yeah. Maybe, you know, you know, we'll think see. about it, man, because it, yeah. it can really help the armed forces of Ukraine if it concerns you know? the fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, I could make a lot of two pays for people like I'm six foot one and it gets caught in my belt. Right. It's really long. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. you could actually uh, make a couple of wigs out of that. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you know, so, and then we could, yeah, we could auction them off like here, you know, you want to. Mm, I, just, yeah. I just find it weird. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit creepy, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I'm getting the willies, man. I'm getting the willies. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so the, the new f um, donation, 20 bucks from uh, Cheryl, Cheryl Waitley. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, and we got another one. Let me get to my PayPal. I usually announce them here because in the end of the stream, Dick, you, if you didn't know how we do it in here, I receive donations on my PayPal during the stream. And then after, um, yeah, in the, in the end of the stream, I just go and transfer them from the, uh, from my PayPal to the jar. We call them jars in here, the fundraiser jar. So we put okay. money in the jar and then we smash it. it it's the Mono Bank, Ukrainian bank. It uh, brought this amazing feature and now all the Ukrainians are using it for fundraisers. It's so uh, easy. Cool. So it And they actually provide us with those progress bars. Have you seen the progress bar on my stream? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So okay, uh, that's what's going on. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's actually yeah, the okay. bank feature. It's they provide you with uh, this um, widget for the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, the bo bank created that stuff. Can you imagine how modern this bank is? Uh, right. And uh, they they just put it. Um, you just put it here. You they give you a link and it it does all the work. It c creates this progress bar. And when the money come in instantly progress bar updates right on your stream so uh it is actually pretty transparent that because when i transfer money from my paypal to um the jar to the fundraiser people can see it here on the stream so uh it's a full transparency here uh, and it's actually encouraging yeah, yeah. people to donate more they they like it and i think this is how it should be people Did must we... show everything right away i'm I'm going to talk to Starsky after because what we do is we do a thing where everything goes specifically to his brigade. Yes. And uh, uh, yeah. I wonder if there's a way to tie that in and make it, you know, so, you know, um, I, I'm going to I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to yeah. look at this for uh, sure. But um, it's it's if those guys uh, are creating the monobank jar, if they are using their account uh, mm -hmm. and they do all the, what do you call it, uh, reporting to to uh, the 
shit. Uh, taxes, Okay. the taxes, uh, services or stuff Okay. like that. Uh, so if they do that and yeah, you, you gotta tell me how, how they do that when Starsky comes back to you. I'm just curious. Maybe Yeah, yeah. we do something. Uh, yeah, maybe we, we can figure out something or, Yeah, yeah. or just, I've got I'm I've just got curious. notes here. I've got all the proper keywords and everything typed out, so Awesome. I will actually forget because I've got a day, a whirlwind coming up. I thought I was going to be child free today, but it's just not going to be the way it is. Um, his his mom comes into town for visits, and grandma lives in town and has him over for visits all the time. So mom and grandma kind of share a visit and hang out together and stuff. And uh, ch plans plans changed and whatnot, and you know. Uh, Okay. it, I mean, for me, it's great because he's still home. I would rather I'm home than not be because I don't have any behavior to correct when he gets home. <laughs> but that's another story altogether. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. yeah. So getting back to your hair, uh, <laughs> the fundraisers, I yeah, thought fundraisers. I dodged that. You can <laughs> you can actually uh, leave your hair. Just get uh, the sides of it right, and in some time it will grow back. Uh, so uh, you won't need to get your tail off. Uh, it's gonna stay with you. Just part of it will go away. Just, just make my Viking uh, hair uh, and just think about it. I'm, I'm just making an inception into your brain, into your consciousness that you will probably, um, you know, come back Yeah, to sometimes. I I could cut a couple feet off and auction it off, and you wouldn't even notice. <laughs> and with the rate this crap grows, I could do that once a month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just you can can't actually, you can actually, we can actually uh, make it a, how do you call it, um, a fundraising parade or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I could keep a meter for how much we've raised, but a meter for how much it's grown back to tell you when the next fundraiser kicks in. <laughs> But but it's gonna take years, you know. If <laughs> uh, but if you cut only ten centimeters, uh, we we may um, make it a year and it's like that because it's pretty pretty long. So think about it. We we need to do some, um, yeah, some. Um, damn it, Rick! Remember the words. Uh, sometimes I forget the, those English words, especially when Yeah. when it, there's a second or third uh, hour of streaming, and I'm Yeah. getting Yeah. tired bit by bit. But I, I, I noticed with Starsky, by the time we get to the second hour, when we're getting ready to I... <laughs> yeah, wrap up, that's midnight for him. Right. And yeah. he will forget the simple words, not the, the harder words, because he's just kind of like in sleepy mode, you know, but he, he doesn't want to coffee up and then be awake till 3 a.m. going, you know, Yes. so, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, I often remember that he's saying like, oh my God, guys, it's such a simple word, Starsky, <laughs> focus, Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's funny. uh, we have another question for you, I guess, oh, for both of us, I guess, from Mani. Yeah, question for both. What do you think of Putler's statement that he was negotiating with Prego? Prego is Prigozhin. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Dick? What do you think about it? I, I myself can only believe a statement like that has an ulterior motive of some kind and it has to do with power grabs and political shuffling and who's fallen out the window next. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But uh, I actually am pretty surprised how Prigozhin uh, just disappeared I know. from media space. He I know. he was a How fucking do you star. you you march Yeah, twenty five thousand and then boom, yeah, you're shut, yeah. This this right? is something something such a uh, dark. Uh, I mean, not dark, but shit. How do you say it? Mm. Something so strange and what the hell is going on there? I mean, of course, they made kind of settlement because they didn't punish him. And it was such Yeah. a weakness. Oh, my God. It was such Yeah. a weakness. And then they are even I, negotiating, I'm, given a statement that they are negotiating. It's just ridiculous how weak but what, Putin what, is what here. do you think, what do you think happened behind the scenes that helped Putin feel like he's properly secured power without question again, after such an uproar? I Yeah. mean, are, are, does everybody go to work with somebody standing beside them doing this now? 
Probably, probably you they know? they have some people behind Putin with the guns now. I mean, uh, Wagner people and <laughs> the yeah yeah uh, the condition was to disappear from uh, how do you call it media space, right? We call it in here right, like this media space. How do you call it yeah. there? Media space. Uh, uh that would be uh, limelight. Uh, you know, uh, limelight is you when you're on the spotlight, you know, red uh -huh. carpet talking to people. So that would be a casual way to say it, you know. Limelight. So disappear from limelight. Oh, yeah. Disappear from limelight is somebody who's always on display that just goes poof, gone. Uh huh. Shit. So, yeah, that, that's what it is. I, I'll repeat it once again. To, to, he disappeared from the limelight. And yeah. That guy who was uh, saying truth, 80% uh, of everything he was saying was truth. That, that was so damn um, bad for Russian government and for Putin. And uh, Yeah, because just... he was going, oh, this is overinflated. These are lies, blah, blah. I mean, that was some serious attack on things. And that goes against the government narrative and the propaganda and all kinds of stuff. Like, I, I, I thought for sure that there was going to be a public execution. Done and done. That's it. Yeah, uh, but no, Putin is weak, uh, and now everyone sees that. And have you guys noticed, and uh, you dick too, that yesterday, no, the two days before yesterday, uh, Russian general Popov, his second name was, I guess, he stepped out uh, against uh, the Gerasimov, the one that Gerasimov, <laughs> yes, that yeah. that guy. Uh, he stepped um, and said that they don't have any counter battery. Um, shit, how how is it called in English? Uh, X um, is saying Shoigu is incompetent, so it is good for Ukraine. Yeah, it's very good. So it's good that yeah. he stayed in power and not Prigozhin. A great point, yeah. Axis. Access? I agree there for sure. Uh, Pergosian, I think in the end, would have been so aggressive that uh, it would have got to the point where Ukraine might, you know, be able to deal with them. But it would have got really messy for a while, whereas Putin doesn't seem to quite go as hog wild. And it makes the uh, counteroffensive and defensive measures, I think, a little bit easier on the Ukrainian forces. I'm not sure I'm right, but, you know, from my perspective on the outside looking in, that's kind of how I would judge it. Um, well, I won't agree with that because um, they they just do their meat grinder, typical meat grinder, they put people in positions. Uh, the biggest problem for yeah, our counter Yeah, they don't care at all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this tactics will work because they just need numbers and our armed forces will just need to deal with numbers. But the, the great uh, obstacle for our army is mining. Uh, they did yeah. a huge mining there and there's an, not enough demining systems that will operate in the combat because now they're only those systems when they you know they blow uh, no they shoot a, a huge fuse you know, of yeah. that that is with explosives and it makes a huge explosion with a huge blast wave that is actually seen there on footage them it is so impressive yeah. uh, and only those systems are able to operate uh during combat and it's actually pretty hard for them too because they're under artillery all the time uh, and it's super risky and we we need yeah. hundreds of such systems to provide uh, the fast uh, moving forward and of course we don't have even dozens of them uh, that's right. the, the main problem and i don't think that uh, any other stuff is really affecting um like you're saying being easy on our forces uh, no, I, I didn't mean it that way, but uh, uh, I, I think Pergosian's more willing to hamburger his troops in the name of a, a slaughter. And uh, I think Putin's a little bit more hold the line and try to get forward. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm not very good with the military speak, but uh -huh. I, I do think if I'm just judging the men. Uh huh. Um, right, but, probably you're you know, right. Yeah, yeah. You you actually you know. have have some point in this. Um, but uh, what I wanted to point out is that the process hmm. of uh, um, insubordinance uh, oh. growing started because some uh, some 
low ranks generals there in Russian army started opposing the heads of their military. Shoigu, Gerasimov, they are now uh, all being opposed by some small generals. Uh, and yeah. it never happened before. Uh, this is something right. new. And I really hope that it's going to be uh, progressing and it, yeah. that it's going to be just... Just. That's that that kind of uh, higher structure infighting is only good. Yes, for us, right? They can you know, exactly right. You know, oh yeah, because they already they you know they already somewhat come across as a a cartoon sort of Muppets on strings version of how a military should be run, and like you have said, and Starsky said before, you know, they can exist on numbers because they just put them through the grinder. They just don't care, yeah. right? And, uh, you know, but yeah. They, yeah, this this kind of stuff turns that into more like Warner Brothers. This is like Daffy Duck and 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 uh, Bugs Bunny going at it now. And I I hope it they get a complete collapse in the chain of command because it would be then you would get some fear on the the foot ground on the 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 feet on the ground. You would see some fear in them when oh, yeah. they're higher up start to collapse. Right? Yeah, you're right, man. So fingers crossed. And they yeah. At some point, I'm pretty sure that at some point uh, they will collapse. Their their army will collapse, but it can take years or it can take months. So fingers yeah. crossed, there is it takes yeah. months. Yes. Yeah. Ex um, yeah. Exactly. This is where we want the snowball to run down the hill and become a big snowball quite quickly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's it. So let's get back to questions from uh, mm. from our chat, but in. The Discord. Uh, by the way, Dick, I know that you've joined our Discord. Thank you for that. And you mm -hmm. guys, uh, you guys will soon see the link in the chat uh, provided by our amazing moderators. Uh, who will? Yeah, and you please go there uh, to to our Discord. Stream questions. And yeah, put something into stream questions. But first, I'm gonna read some uh, from the early stream. Yeah, like from two hours ago. Let's see. Uh, Irene was asking, Rick, uh, will you be on the shows next weekend? I answered that one already. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Mythic Plague. Hello from Minnesota in the United States of America. I wish you and all your viewers the best. How long will until Russia starts to mass surrender or what more will it take to make it happen? Um, yeah, I guess we just discussed that with Dick and I guess all that... Um, breaking uh, big breaking in the ranks uh, of their army right when yeah. when the generals will will start fighting amongst themselves uh this is going to be somewhere there is going to be the point yes. where, where their collapse so yeah the collapse that's going to be the point um uh, yeah nice question there thank you miss mythic plague uh donna uh rick i followed to Volodymyr Zolkin since last February, but really appreciate your interpretations of the POW interviews. Thank you very much. I try to do my best there to uh, not not just, you know, translate and um, narrate it, but to give some emotions, to change voices. By the way, Dick, have you listened to, to them? Yes. Right? Yeah, um, yeah. What do you think about, uh, about making two voices uh, by me? I... I totally agree with it and would have done it myself. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And that uh, sometimes I will need to include someone else anyway, because I, I won't be able to do three uh, voices. Of course, I tried one, uh, but it, it sounds ridiculous. I won't, uh, I won't, I don't want to make a mess of it. Uh, I was just right. uh, at, at some of the interviews, uh, father say, said only one line. He, uh, he said, uh, he is a contract soldier, and I pronounce it like this. Uh, and I, if I, I will, will be doing this uh, South, Southern American accent all the time, it, it will sound <laughs> not not polite. I guess. I guess it won't, it won't be pretty, really well. So I'd rather uh, use a help, use some help from um, another voice actor. Let's call call him that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for a good question and a good, how do you call it, kind words, Dick. <laughs> uh, 
let's go to yeah, the well. next question. Um, Cheesy was saying, just call. Uh, no, Cheesy was saying Alexander Ludwig, and I was uh, actually reading that one before. Uh, so just call was asking Rick. I have a serious question. I answered that too. I haven't missed it. So, um, Ramblin Rogers. Thank you for the good fight. Glory to Ukraine. Also answered that. Um, okay. Chris, Connie, Dick, where are you from in Canada? Nice question. I am uh, on the west side of the Rocky Mountains. I'm about uh, 1,200 meters up. Lovely little valley. Uh, it's a great place. A uh, couple hours north of the American border. But that's about as you know, specific as I get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's how we do when we have to deal with Russian bots, orcs, and all that stuff. Because yes, sometimes it's know, da dangerous. I I live in Kiev, but that's it. I live in Kiev. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, okay, so another question. New question from Shell Waitley. Will the competent generals uh, coalesce? What is a coalesce, Dick? Coalesce, come together. Aha, uh -huh, for a coup. Yeah, coalesce for a coup. It's from the World Coalition, right? Coalesce. Yes. Got it. Uh, if the competent generals win, is it worse for Ukraine? Yeah, it's worse for Ukraine because all of them want to invade us. All of them want to uh, commit genocide. And if they're going to be competent, it's going to be definitely something bad for us. So this is this mm. is why it's good that Prigozhin didn't take over Russia. Because it would be pretty bad because that dude is a fascist that dude, dude oh yeah is a is a huge war criminal and a, a pretty i must say at some at some mm, aspect he's pretty efficient one so oh, it's yeah. good he he not. he would have grown the little black mustache for sure and gone right oh, yeah. for it man oh, oh yeah. yeah that is what would do it definitely <laughs> um another question from hobbs groove Hi, Rick. Have you got good plans for Andrew's birthday? I hear it is going to be fantastic. Hopefully it is filmed. Well, I need to get an inv invitation from Andrew first, because if he won't invite me, <laughs> I won't be uh, having any plans for that. So um, I will ask him, of course, uh, if he's planning to do it, because um, our community has already some plans for gifts, you know. And I'm yeah. going to be the carrier of that. <laughs> uh, nice. I'm not going to say more, but yeah, he definitely needs to to invite me because um, uh, our community, uh, I mean, his community and mine together combined already has some plans for, for the gifts. Maybe cool. just, just because of that. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for the question. <laughs> it was pretty interesting to give some um spoilers for that no spoilers given but at least uh, some hints right hint. yeah. yeah just a hint okay now i see new people here on stream for example polly wagner is named after hitler's favorite classical art artist i didn't know that uh hitler loved wagner hmm did you know that wow wow no would be awesome if it's true <laughs> yeah it, it, it totally, t I, 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 then it I makes believe sense, it instantly. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Your life path was set for you, motherfucker. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So I don't like to miss messages on, in the chat, but when I started to have over, uh, I mean, more than 100 people uh, simultaneously <laughs> watching the stream and chatting there, it became yeah. such a hard task. Ooh, yeah. um, we then... do what you do. We have a specific room for the questions and whatnot, and uh, it makes it so much easier because if you try to keep up with the chat and like, you know, we've had 700 people watching us live with the Starsky show before. Oh, yeah. Try to keep up to the chat and the stream goes like this. Ha 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 ha. Oh, good point. <laughs> no, I agree. That's all your show is, right? You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. But you know what? Uh, actually, I also 
am having pleasure. For for example, today I spent an hour. You were listening to it probably, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I you were doing a, great. Yeah. Thank you, man. I had a pleasure actually uh, to go through all of them and to greet everyone who came to the stream because I know people also enjoy it when I talk uh, directly to them and I answer yeah, their yeah. questions and um, nothing gets missed. Uh, but right now we have 138 viewers. Guys, thank you for being here. Uh, and please give the stream a like. We still have 259, but we need to get to 300 today. It helps with engagement. And more people on YouTube will know about the stream. Uh, just There's a... Yeah, just like Another that. thing I want to throw in there is hit the share button and share it out on another form of social media. When the YouTube analytics see that people share your stream out and bring people in from outside, you get a bigger push in the promotion side. It's a yeah. really good thing you can do to help support the creators you like. Share button. Share button. Okay, <laughs> let's chant it. Share button, share, share button, button, share, share button. button. Share <laughs> button. <laughs> yes, thank you, man, for doing it for the fourth time. I stopped at the third, and um, how how does it made made you uncomfortable? No, probably not you, man, because no. I see you're you're just a yeah. a chanting guy, and you're. Now, I love your style, man. I like this. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes you're an announcer, like there. So sometimes. <laughs> when you were announcing my happy birthday to Starsky there. I remember uh, Rick oh. says happy birthday. <laughs> that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. I love this, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I literally, I literally have to like come down for 15 minutes at the end of a show because I can get myself pretty worked up, you know, but that's the role I play. There's other people to talk calmer and yeah. stuff, you know, I'm not, I'm like a cheerleader in a way just in slacks, you know? Yeah, you are, man. <laughs> uh, and I like to have such a cheerleader on the stream today. I like it, man. It, it, it really gives more energy. I, I was so energetic today, but when you came, I was... I, <laughs> I received some extra energy. <laughs> it's infectious. <laughs> wow. What, what's the word? Is that... <laughs> infectious is like infection, like a virus yeah, infects I know. you. So, you know, it's infectious is, is a way of referring uh, to something that's non-viral that, but you know, can get in here, you know? I yeah. know that word. I know that word. But I heard something like tenfectious or, I, yeah. Ah, so it was yeah. a bit confusing. A great, this is why I ask. There's a great band called the Infectious Grooves. I highly recommend you check them out. Amazing okay. stuff. Just uh, just write me this name and the... I will. You know where because I will definitely forget it. <laughs> <laughs> share button, share button. RF from USA was chanting with us. Thank you, RF. Uh, you are, I know, uh, a guest on the shells too, and given a oh, great yeah. support. Uh, I know that you have a lot of familiar. Uh, faces or I should say uh, user picks right <laughs> and names um, and yeah sometimes I say guys I'm really glad to see you all there but then I correct myself to read you all there because I see um, messages and anyway it's just like seeing you there I'm knowing yeah. that you're there it's amazing also Sekai yep. was gifted a membership thank you Sekai and we had five from Ann Hill. Thank you, Ann Hill. You guys I, are amazing with those memberships. Rick, do you yes. notice in the last little while the gifting memberships is just off the scale with people gifting them around and, and whatnot? Yeah. I, I, Wasn't I, it uh, like oh, thanks, that Lynn. Uh, no. no, um, we've been doing live shows for like three years and with Starsky, uh, a year and a half almost now, right? A year and a third. And yeah. for the first six or seven months, gifted memberships were not a thing that people really did. And then all of a sudden, boom, the floodgates opened yeah. and gifted memberships are as big as super chats now. It's absolutely crazy. I love it. I love it. Don't, don't think I'm complaining or anything. Don't get the, <laughs> uh, you know, lost in translation effect here. You know, I love it. Um, Man, and there's some uh, prolific offenders like Ozzy T and a few others out there. You know who you are. Holy, do they gift them out. Love that. Love that. By the way, uh, did you know that Ukrainian accounts, uh, those who were registered from Ukraine, they don't have the ability to receive super chats and super stickers? Did you know that? What the hell? Yeah. 
Uh, it's a discrimination by Ukrainian, um, how do you call it? Okay, by nationality, let's call it that. So we what need to write petitions to YouTube. We need to write petitions to YouTube. Uh, I don't know if Starsky's channel has it. Uh, he's Ukrainian, but maybe he knew about that and uh, registered his channel from another um, country. You can do that. You well, can... he, he recently said to me, he was like, bro, I got my monetization finally. And I was oh. like, what? Because I didn't think he could, you know, get the full deal. And I don't know what happened, but uh, maybe wow. because of the high sub count and traffic to his channel, YouTube finally acquiesced because they get 30%, right? Oh, uh, I must say that I received uh, the partnership program with YouTube uh, since uh, about February. Yeah, since February. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what? And uh, I started receiving... Uh, some funds, funds, sorry, uh, but not not monetization from views because Zolkin's interviews, uh, he's getting uh, all the monetization from it. And it's totally right, fine right. Uh, because he has a yeah. copyright and I'm fine with it. I just want to spread it to people. So I receive yeah, all yeah. the monetization from memberships, but I don't have super chats. So people cannot donate uh, with super chats and super stickers. So all the monetization goes only from memberships. And of course, uh, I'm mm -hmm. yeah. I was super you? Mm, excited when people what? started gifting them in te oh, like yeah. dozens, and sometimes uh, it was. It makes like a real difference. Yeah, like, it, make, makes, it a difference. makes a real difference. Um, uh, what I would recommend because we're on Streamlabs now doing the the back chat, I I would turn on the Streamlabs donations thing. It it sends it either to uh, bank Another or PayPal. Another discrimination, man. Another You're not allowed to do them either. Uh, I was uh, trying to use them too, but people uh, told me something that in my country uh, they they cannot do it to a policy or something like that. So yeah, another fucking discrimination. We have so many uh, limitations here in Ukraine. You wouldn't imagine uh, all those. Yeah, you see now uh, no Streamlabs donations. Also PayPal links. You know that the charity links and PayPal they have that option. I can create yeah, it. Yeah. I've created it. I put it on my, in my channel. And when people started trying to donating, they had a message that uh, due to our policy, it's not uh, possible to do it in Ukraine. No donations what received. What the from actual paper. fuck? That's yeah, just off the charts bullshit. <laughs> yep. And before the full scale invasion, we had no opportunity to even receive money through PayPal. Can you imagine uh, when when the full scale invasion started? Then in March, our minister Fyodorov, you probably heard about him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's pretty famous because he's doing some crazy innovations usually. Uh, so he uh, managed to make a deal with PayPal to finally um, give us Ukrainians the option to receive money through PayPal. Before yeah. that, we could only send them. This is such a bullshit. I know. I remember when that day happened because yeah. up until then, uh, our donation funds were going locally through a Ukrainian family that have like a deli bakery takeout place near my area. And they were funneling it off to Ukraine for humanitarian relief and whatever and making sure it wasn't getting gobbled up by percentages to operate, you know, big charities and shit. It was going right there. But once the PayPal thing happened, Starsky's brigade was able to organize and have a place so we could just send. Yeah. So it, it you know, was a huge But that was help. a joke. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. I can only imagine what that meant monetization-wise to the Ukrainian armed forces because we've all seen what our streams are doing. And when you add it all up, there's some cash on the flow. Oh, yeah. Actually, Secular Sekai is given an interesting idea. Perhaps you can integrate Buy Me Coffee to show donations on screen when streaming. Uh, Dick, maybe you can help me with that because uh, your stream seems pretty advanced and all that chats on the stream and many windows and uh, and all the I... switching. I hate, uh, man, I hate uh, setting it all up. This is why I don't have I... it. <laughs> I could, we could sit down and do a one hour private like you know screen share hangout awesome. and we could build you the same OBS setup that I have I've been using the uh, software for like four years and I come from a background of professional audio like as soon as I got out of high school I spent two years in audio engineering school doing full studio recording FM broadcast and all that so it's all second nature to me and awesome. I 
Yeah, I could literally in an hour build you a setup just like mine, and you'd be just like, oh, yeah, got it. Cool. Okay. And then I will over actually, a, you yeah. know, yeah. Continue, please. Well, over a period of a month of using it, you'll really learn why it's set up the way it is and really dig in. And then from there, you're off to the races. Do whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we should try some of that. Of course, I uh, I, I must say I want uh, I don't want the the exact same. Uh, no, no, setup. of course not. <laughs> that would be yours. silly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but some uh, some ideas I like. I really like to see some of them there so but i definitely would like to get a hand or two from from your so let's sure. do that call sometime uh actually awesome. um dick uh did you know that patreon is supporting uh, russian propagandists Yes, I've heard that uh, everybody in Ukraine trying to use uh, Patreon is nigh on impossible. And yet Russian POSs, and I mean pieces of shit, just yeah. so we're clear here, <laughs> fellow babies, um, are able to actually do it. How uh, you, you know that there's some oligarch money action in the back of a company that would allow that as far as I'm concerned. Come well, on, there's got to be a reason. Yeah, we can speculate about that, but we... we cannot know there were no ev evidence of that but i must say that uh the obvious thing is that that they have no principles money for them doesn't <laughs> smell money for them doesn't smell and for that we won't we iranians won't respect them we are yeah. trying to boycott them i've um, actually have seen uh an analysis from a ukrainian guy from a small channel uh, where he was uh, telling us in Ukrainian, this is why I probably won't share that link, but maybe guys, you will watch it with automatic captions and understand anything. <laughs> I'm not sure because our automatic <laughs> caption. <laughs> oh, they're horrid. Yeah, it's horrid. <laughs> Sorry for that. And uh, yeah. so uh, he was analyzing that and he said that it didn't work um, as we, um, you know, as we hoped, it, it's still not boycotting around the world and not giving the results yeah. that uh, would be efficient. But if the new wave starts, it's going to be better. So we need to talk about it. Uh, and we need to encourage uh, creators to go away from Patreon or while they support Russia and not doing any changes to that, uh, yeah. to go to Buy Me Coffee, who... For example, deleted the contact of one, uh, not the contact, but the page of one or two Russian propagandists right away. Yes. When, uh, when uh, those, damn it, uh, reports being given, they answered to them with bans and they really helped us. Uh, this yeah. is why we're using Buy Me Coffee now here. Uh, and I'm encouraging people to stop using Patreon and to support people on Buy Me Coffee because Patreon support Russian propagandists and soldiers. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, this, that must be mentioned. Thank you so much for touching that topic. Who was that? Sorry, I forgot. Who that was. <laughs> I yes. there, There's a question that was uh, said, just sent to me. And I don't know if the user's doing like a take on Caddyshack. Is that Caddy Strata or something? Um, I, I'm... I'm uh, I, I, I need like a pair of reading glasses and things are a little small on the one screen. I don't have things organized properly here, but uh, somebody asked me, how did the shills meet Starsky and start the weekly stream? Yeah, Interesting um, question. Yeah. When, when Starsky first started uh, talking about war, as soon as the invasion happened, um, one of the shills, Matt M2M, uh, he has a channel of his own M2M and he covers rocket launches and a lot of space stuff and whatnot. Wow, uh, he got a hold of Starsky right away before his email got flooded. And so we didn't get lost in the shuffle with an invite to come and join us for a show. And at the oh. end of the show, everybody had such a good time together. And it, you could see, like, you know, we, sure, we did news and viewer questions, but we also do what the shills do. And we keep it a little lighter and try to have a bit more fun. And for Starsky, it was like, a, oh, I needed that moment, right? You know, yeah. to, to relax <laughs> a bit more. And we were like, dude, why don't we do this weekly? He said, love to. <laughs> there you go. It was that quick, right? It happened instant. Oh, uh, cool. It was cool. Uh yeah. This is actually something that he needed uh, because it was so grim in the beginning of war and it's yes. still grim. It's still grim, believe me, guys, to yeah. see all those news here in Ukraine. Every day you have a tragedy, every day you have losses, you have deaths, you have 
uh, a lot of innocent people killed and shelling bombing. You don't sleep well sometimes because air raid siren is every night yeah. here with us, especially in Kyiv. Uh, and even if there's not one, you're waiting for it. You're still yeah. anxious. You're still <laughs> like, you know, it doesn't go away. Right. You know? Yeah, man, you, you're totally right. Uh, this is why I totally understand why we also need to laugh and we also need to live. Uh, yeah. because smiling is living for me and, uh, and having fun is also living. So we can yeah. f have fun, for example, at Russian propagandists and at, uh, we can, uh, create and we can also have fun at some memes and it's all that you're doing guys. Oh, yeah. and I'm grateful yeah. to you for that. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, we we try to we we get the odd comment on our shows. How dare you be so insulting to joke around with somebody that's in the middle of war? Well, you did see that he was doing as much joking around, right? Like yeah. you can't begrudge the guy a, a smile and a laugh just because the it's a horrible situation. You need an escape as a human being. You can't just you know like you know yeah right. Sure. I mean. We, we, we'll break and I don't begrudge. The humor. Yeah, I don't begrudge somebody saying that because I understand where they're coming from. But I do find it a bit of a snap reaction, social media approach of I'm right and you're wrong. Hold on a minute. Absorb the situation. Right. Yeah. You know, come on. Yeah, man, you're totally right. And this is why there's so much humor from a front line. Uh, all those oh, yeah. uh, letters. You uh, you remember letters uh, written by the corpses of Russians? Damn it. Yeah. Man. <laughs> this is such a dark humor, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. This, it supports it, us so much. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's needed. It, it's, it, it's, it's the human needed. way of processing, man, you know? <laughs> yes, you're well, right. When our brain know? is getting confused, it starts laughing because this is the way. <laughs> this yeah. is the way of our, our brain operates. <laughs> Um, there's a yeah. there's a few people in the live chat talking about Baby Starsky. Uh, we started this thing, oh, Tales yeah. from Baby Starsky, right? Where he tells a story of his youth. And we have this crazy AI baby face generated Baby Starsky image that's just hilarious and horrifying all at the same time. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, we how even made a t-shirt out of it. Uh, well... I have a secret weapon on the shills. Uh, Dunk, uh, DKG Custom, is his YouTube channel. He does uh -huh. custom guitars. They're just to drool over. But his actual day job is he's an Emmy Award-winning visual effects artist. Wow. So when you have a guy like that on your team and he goes, hey, I got a great idea and brings you that, you just say yes. Thank you. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. That's, that's an awesome I don't know story. how he does it, man. I don't know what the hell he does, but it works awesome. <laughs> it's probably uh, somehow... Um, have has to do something with those uh, AI things, modern, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. yeah, that that uh, that picture is creepy. I've seen Baby Starsky; <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> creepy. Yeah, <laughs> but, it is. but yeah, yeah. That, that's a great uh, thing, and yeah. yeah, great idea. We have a we have another one. Uh, we're just getting ready to debut coming up, uh, uh, Captain Sharsky Week. Sharksky Week, oh, and yeah. uh, we're gonna have like his face on a shark coming up like Jaws or something. It's just being figured out, but you know we love that stuff. You know? I'm gonna give you a small spoiler. I I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but whatever. Uh, I think yeah. Uh, after the morning show together with Starsky and Andrew and Alex, now we. Um, Damn it, I forgot. We signed the flag uh, for the flag that I've gifted uh, to Andrew and, and <laughs> Starsky um, draw or drew a, a shark ski uh, actually uh, there on the flag. <laughs> so uh, when Andrew is going to show it to you, uh, I hope he's going to show it. To you. You're going to show this. You're going to see the sketch of that shark. <laughs> Uh, so oh, I can't wait. I'm not That's sure cool. that it was Sharksky. He was um, actually trying to do something. Yeah, I, I forgot the initial idea, but to me it seems like that. It was a half, yeah. half uh, shark, yeah. half someone. Maybe it, it was... Yeah, but it was awesome. And you'll see that. Yeah. I wanted to mention some donations that I m maybe missed to my PayPal. 
20 bucks from Cheryl mm -hmm. Waitley with uh, a comment to the scope fund. And so Dick is he needs to be somewhere. You've heard that he ran, ran away. Uh, you've seen it also. Um, I hope everything's okay. Okay. Everything's okay, man? Yeah, I just had to refill my drink. And with you doing a shout out, it was a perfect time. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. not needed for a second. Boom, done. <laughs> I was worried for a second. <laughs> I thought, oh, I hope nothing's yeah. happened there. <laughs> because you, you were like, oh my God, I got to run. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Ninja Dick. No. So now Beverly uh, sent 1455. Thank you so much. And Hale sent 20. Um, OCT sent another 20. Thank you so much, OCT. Uh, and Lynn Stephanison sent another $20.32. Thank you very much. Matching Aussie said. Uh, Lynn, awesome. thank you. Thank you. And I'm well, uh, I, I'm proud to say that we reached $1,000. So for now, it's $1,011.69. Uh, this is still not the limit guys if someone that's right want to uh, make a new record on donating to the armed forces of ukraine two scopes can be bought um thermal scopes yes i will mm, damn it the word uh, i will specify yes i love to use the words that i usually don't use so i will adva advance my english um and and what? I will specify that this time we're raising for two uh, cheap scopes, thermal scopes, but they've proven themselves as a pretty good ones, uh, as soldiers told us in that, um, damn it, the post with the fundraiser, yes. Uh, so mm. uh, they, they will use those efficiently, uh, protecting themselves, because in the night, when Russians are advancing in the night, it's really important to use the goggles to see them there. Uh, and a lot of lives can be sa saved Yeah. thanks to that. This is why it's very important. I will just uh, give a great thanks to everyone who donated today. Uh, and I will still encourage you to join the fundraiser if you still haven't. Uh, and uh, do some donations because uh, supporting the armed forces of Ukraine will be uh, the priority before before we take the victory. Yeah. And we still need to do that because uh, Russians started using the FPV drones much more often and they now uh, even matched with uh, our military mm -hmm. and they are you can imagine they kill a lot of our soldiers with those oh, yeah. they destroy our equipment because it is a really advanced and powerful weapon as it appeared it it costs only let me um, around so yeah there's actually an announcement that i wanted to make but i forgot not an announcement but uh, the update on one of the fundraisers uh, we were raising money uh, for the 120th Battalion, Reconnaissance Battalion. So it's, uh, you know, uh, Ukrainian recon Reconnaissance, the one with the... Um, shit. The one with the owl. Owl, yes? The yeah. birdie. The birdie. They have that logo on their unit. Um, uh, okay. On, on their unit. In their unit. So uh, they are... We raised money for the car. 300,000 hryvnas. It's about eight and a half thousand dollars, pretty uh, pretty big sum, but we managed to raise it uh, on our streams, and uh, they told us with Helena. Helena uh, is my friend who's a Ukrainian volunteer. She's making medkits. Uh, you've already heard yeah, that story, I guess. Yeah, yeah, right, Not right. Once, yeah, but some of the people might be missing that information because we have some new people on That's the stream. True. So yeah, Helena is just a very selfless person who is actually buying the ingredients for her own money sometimes because she doesn't have enough of uh, money to fill in. I mean, money raised to fill in all the requests because she has a lot. Uh, per week, it's from 10 to 15 um, medkits needed. And one medkit is $200 uh, worth. It's a NATO standard and even more, some extra from Helena added there. 
uh, because she is a doctor well, herself and she knows uh, how it's all done. She knows everything about uh, health, injuries, and all that stuff. Uh, she's not a surgeon, yes, but she uh, is a pretty good doctor, believe me. She uh, treats me sometimes. I mean, uh, she's also my allergist right now, and uh, she is cool. helping me you know, with uh, my allergies on cats. I have two cats and allergy for cats. And wow. yes, this is crazy how bad I felt before I started treating it. And I lived like that for years. And I I was punching myself for not, for not healing myself up. <laughs> because it's progressing. Yeah. All the time it's progressing. When you don't heal it, uh, it will progress. Okay. My call-in for more donations uh, worked. And we received one from... Okay. I will say just... The first name, it's Jenica. Awesome. Thank you very much for $50 for the thermal scopes from Canada. Slava Ukraine. Heroem Slava. Thank you very much, Jenica. It's actually an interesting name. It sounds like um, Scandinavian name. Or do you have hmm. such a name there in Canada? Like common name? Uh, uh, Danica, uh, Danica no, Patrick. Jenica. Uh, Jenica. Oh, Jenica. Jenica. Uh, mm hmm no, no, I don't. Yeah. That's my first. Uh, yeah, that's my first time across it. I like it. It comes same. It comes same. out nice. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, it's I, a new name I have, I I have a pressing issue here. Um, we're about to have to run out the door, my son and I, to do a thing, and I'm just looking at the clock, and I got like three minutes to be get ready oh, and shit. get going. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to bow out now and say goodbye to everybody and stuff and whatnot. And it sucks too because this has been so much yeah. fun and an this, interesting this chat an and conversation. Time. You know. No, thank you. So yeah, much I'm, for coming. Oh, and thanks for having me. I mean, I can't wait till Sunday now. This is going to be absolutely great <laughs> stream coming up. I can't wait. Um, I uh, I wish I had longer for a proper goodbye, but I did let time slip, and I've just been noticing right now that I'm, you know, that close Same. to danger. It's always zone. like that yeah. on my streams, man. On your streams know, too, right? I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We cut it right to the minute. Um, I should say a big shout out here. Thanks to all the Rick Rollers out there for having me over on the show, and big welcome and all that and thanks to all the fellow babies coming over from the shills to hang out as well love it love it the support for ukraine's amazing thousand bucks already in the hat you people yeah. are awesome give yourselves a pat in the back i love it i love it and uh before i bow out quick thanks again rick having me over was awesome and you just got to say those two words slava ukraini how do I Let's slower. keep up the support, yes, man. exactly <laughs> keep up the support and do all we can i can't wait to see you again buddy chat soon yeah, man. Take care. See you in a week. All right. Bye. Dick is just amazing. Such an energy, guys. I love him. Uh, this was an, an amazing co-stream with him. Uh, and the stream is continuing. We still have about 50 minutes. Oh, my God. Uh, we still have a lot to talk about. Dick is an amazing guy. Uh, and I really admire him for... Um, he is parenting because it's a really hard task. I know that. And we received a donation from Tone. Uh, this was amazing, Tone. Um, so it's $200. As always, very generous donation every stream. You drop $50 to the fund raiser. And Tone, thank you. So right now we have, let me, let me minus the other money. And I will tell you what what we have there. We have one thousand two hundred sixty one dollars and sixty nine cents. Fucking amazing gun, gun guys, <laughs> guys. Fucking amazing. Uh, guys, don't drop off. The stream still is still going for another thirty or fifty minutes. We still need. Uh, we still need to discuss some news, for fuck's sake, <laughs> because we missed a lot of them, as always. Uh, they are always in the end, but we're mostly not for the news here, right, guys? Because you can listen to, to the news on the other channels, uh, some news channels, but here we make a community. We make a good communication. We make some Ukrainian insights. If you want to know some, ask me your questions, guys. 
Aussie, thank you so much for 50 coffees. This is very generous. Dick Dawson says huge thanks for that amazing welcome, everyone. Dick, you get you definitely got to come back to the stream uh, and to have more conversations like this one with me. You're a great guy. I'm really happy to meet you like this now, not not just in the chat, but to talk to you. It was awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming. And uh, damn it, we well, got to do this again. And I see you in a week. Okay. I live about two hours away, Dick, says Mr. Nobody. That's cool. Maybe you meet through our Discord channel, right? <laughs> Join our Discord channel, guys. Aussie, thank you so much for all this huge support. 50 coffees, donations, very generous ones. And yes, it's you, you've you sent uh, $170 today uh, to the PayPal and $50 of coffee to me. Wow, thank you so much. Also, just received $62.81 from Gail, uh, from Metkit, Slava Ukraine, in Ukrainian. Heroim Slava, I'd like to, to see it. $62.81, amazing, amazing, thank you very much, Gail. Uh, another $30 from OCT, OCT, you're, you're a legend. Thank you for everything that you're doing, for all these great Ukrainian channels that we are becoming a, that, our community is becoming a part of right we are intertwined so much we have intertwined so much uh cinnamon is saying great stuff rick latest news yeah let's go to the latest news guys uh, i'm missing a lot of messages but i also saw that you guys like my t-shirt thank you it's a polo I, I like polos but i'm almost not wearing them because i couldn't find a, a just a perfect polo that i had that i bought in 2013 probably yeah uh, and just pull and bear and i mean i just i usually dress in in mass market stores uh but i i want to change it but <laughs> whatever so uh and no other uh polo could match that one that was perfect pretty cheap but perfect and this is why I'm not wearing them often, but I bought this one a year ago and I wasn't very wearing it. I don't know why I just stopped liking it, but I wear it yesterday, no, today, and I really I love, love how, it, how it fits. Um, okay, Chris Lunday uh, is saying, I hope Dick can help Rick with his streaming setup. Visual feedback of donations helps to solicit more donations. Positive feedback loop. Yeah, Chris Lunday, you're actually right. So we're going to do our best to, to do that, to set it up. Carol is going away or coming in. Carol V, on a tank maybe? Hey, Carol, by the way, yeah, how are you doing? So Nathan Dog on a tank with a trizup. Trizup, yeah, in Ukrainian it's trizup. It's a good idea. We have, a, we, we've seen a lot of those, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, I received more coffees. So 15 coffees from RF from USA for the scope fund. Uh-huh, adding it to the scope fund. So right now we have... 75 plus 15, it's 90. We have $90 on Buy Me Coffee. Five coffees from Sweet About Me. Hmm, interesting name. Victory to Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you for the five coffees. For these five coffees. What else? Rick, maybe I will meet him. I'm positive I've seen Dick around here and there's over the years. And there over the years. Awesome. That would be awesome if you meet. Oh, what I would do for a rig, the Ukrainian Storm Shadow emoji. Uh, be awesome. <laughs> it would be awesome. Great idea. We got to do that one. <clears throat> that emoji. Difficult to read from the other channel because I've got a small screen and my eyes are not good, says Hoops Groove. Hoops Groove, by the way, I haven't greeted you on the stream today. Jade Collins, also hello. Very cool. Hawaiian Polo Show. Thank you very much. It's also a mass market, pretty cheap one. <laughs> I like some original clothes, uh, though it's this one is not, but still looks pretty original to me, right? 
Uh, Suzanne is saying grinder. What grinder? Meat grinder? Okay. Uh, let's move on. So, donations been uh, been very generous today. Thank you. Another forty dollars from Cinnamon. Cinnamon, thank you very much for your generosity. Carol V uh, is answering to Irene. S. This is why I'm not going to be reading this message, <laughs> and I'm going to go to the news tonight. Not waste any time because we don't have much left. So the news. Uh, we what? What do we, we had? What? What? No. Rick. Uh, Yuri Hudimenko photo. My smile here is so wide. God damn it! You see that I'm pretty happy to be near this guy. <laughs> Okay, so we should begin from these photos. Uh, Russia co is constantly shelling us. It kills people every day. Every day you see pictures like this. This was on Monday, I guess. And tents, uh, was it Monday? No, yeah, it was Monday, tents. Uh, Russia was hitting the Orykhiv in Zaporizhia region and killed uh, 11 people, no, four people and 11 people were hospitalized. Okay, so this was an amazing video in the beginning of this week that you guys probably have seen, but let's watch it again together because I want you to, to witness this with me together. This was fucking awesome. It's from our intelligence, um, war intelligence, military intelligence. Let's watch it. The time for payback has come. Military intelligence of Ukraine. Fuck yeah, this video is such a badass material, guys, right? Ukraine is showing us. Schooled, saying my knee. Those mini drones are pretty cool. Yeah, I like them a lot. Small helicopters. Ooh, this this this, this made me um how do you call these things? Ah, I forgot. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, goose? Goosebumps. Yes, this made me a goosebumps. <laughs> Ooh, uh, awesome video. Uh, and next day, or that day, I don't remember, Russian general, uh, admiral, no, who is? He's a captain. Yeah, he was a captain of the ship who was constantly missile, yeah, launching a um, submarine, not a ship. Uh, it was launching missiles <clears throat> into Ukraine, and I guess his ship was responsible uh, of killing um, a lot of people in Vinnytsia last year. Remember, a lot of people and kids died in the, when rockets hit the center of Vinnytsia, and this was a terrible, another terrible terroristic act. So that fucker got what he deserved. He got a bullet or five bullets into his body, and Russian war criminal one Russian or criminal less, right? Um, I'd love to see Reapers going after the Orcs air support, please, someday. Yeah, I'm hoping for that too, would be awesome. Not really, Dick just left. Rick is on the news now. Yes, I'm on the news now. Dick was given a great um, conversation to me today. 
Uh, okay, more coffees. Greg Watkins bought five coffees. Sweet uh, A, but about me, bought another five coffees. Okay, guys, about buy me coffee. I wanted to remind you that if you consider supporting me as a member, you can start with $3 per month becoming a stinger or 10 as a javelin. And of course, there are some extra pretty expensive ones like Bradley, Abrams or Heimers. I would appreciate any support. Stinger will be a great support to me too. So uh, thank you so much for all the coffees you've been giving me today. It is very appreciated. Let's go on with the news. I'm going to be missing most of the messages uh, right now, but don't forget to give me your impressions on how you like what you see on the screen in the news. Okay, so this was an amazing video and NATO allies have reached a consensus on canceling the membership action plan. NATO summit. So NATO summit happened this week and of course we weren't getting into NATO uh, right now. And we, we are not, you know, given the direct answer when we're going to get it, get there. And of course, we're fighting the war of NATO for them and they are providing us with equipment. Thank you so much for to all the NATO countries for giving us all that great equipment. And, and anyway, we're still not getting enough equipment. And you guys may... Um, actually give some if you are a pro active like active uh, members of your communities there in for example the united states you can uh, send letters to your congressmen and to your uh, senators to uh, for example start supplying us with night vision goggles and with uh what else with uh thermal scopes because for now a U.S. government is not supplying us with that, and it would be a, a great help. But for now, we only need to um, do it with volunteer efforts, like this channel, for example, uh, or Brandon Mitchell is a, actually a great uh, dude with a great effort. He's uh, supplying the army, like directly some units with night vision goggles and i really love love his initiative and i really like to be able to receive that many funds as he does to be able to provide more soldiers with the equipment they have but for now we have uh more than a thousand dollars per per stream and it's a great fucking result guys thank you very much for all the donations today we're gonna be redirecting them to the fundraiser jar from my paypal really soon and what? I'm getting tired. But I'm trying to enter my PayPal login in. I mean, we in here in Ukraine, we don't say login. We say enter. Enter an account, enter a, an app. We just use this term. Brandon is amazing, says Anne Hill. Yeah, he is. He is um, a guy that not everyone will like, definitely, because... Uh, because of his style right <laughs> but he's an amazing person very kind and open one and this is this is something that is priceless i heard you're 30 and thought i could top you once at least not competing oc says cinnamon <laughs> awesome great great not competition guys brendan is one of the good ones yeah he is he's a great guy uh, Rick, did you see that he has a Ukrainian woman who evacuated from Izum or Bucha who is uh, his thermal scopes contact? Uh, no, no, I wasn't following latest uh, updates from Brandon, unfortunately. Uh, but actually, not a lot of updates from Brandon I was following. Uh, hey, Jet, I hope the stream has been good. The stream was amazing, Jet. Uh, do you still want to jump in for? And all the last 30 minutes if you want if you are feeling like it if you are feeling better physically well, it will be awesome <clears throat> okay i'm good to have to get going says money uh great stream today great to see you all slava ukraini heroim slava money thank you very much for being here and always being here and supporting thank you i'll see you on the next one great so far jet says to that 
Uh, hey guys, hey Jed, uh, tell me if you want to jump in for 30 minutes, but maybe it's too, yeah, it's too small, it's a too small amount of time to be jumping in for. <clears throat> but what? We also um, have 900 do uh, Rinna's donations made by someone either someone in the chat or uh, who who are Ukrainians who are also donating to this uh, through Facebook the, it was posted on Facebook I was showing it to you today uh, but I may show you this again we're raising money for two um, goggles night vision no it's not goggles monoculars right so they are scopes uh, thermal scopes night not the night vision thermal scopes and they are pretty cheap only 45,000 rimless each they're not military grade but uh, soldiers said that they're gonna be good with them too that it's gonna be enough for them so yeah that's it uh, they are 41st um, rifle regiment of the armed forces of ukraine yeah here it is 31st separate 41st separate rifle battalion yes they are so they are uh the one of the heroes who are defending our country uh jen buer said or gene uh so great seeing you too chen and sharon awesome angel warriors for ukraine respect thank you very much um He's still looking for his trousers, I think, I think, says Alan Forbes. Was it a an, an insult, right? No, I just woke up and I got a shower and stuff still. I look like crap. <laughs> no problem, Jed. It's totally understandable. Uh, Brandon is the best, says Sally Laws. Uh, he's brutally honest and doing his very best to serve and save Ukrainian lives. Yeah, he is. He's one of the best definitely okay um getting back to news something great that i still haven't showed to you so uh some guarantees were given and sweden were shaking hands with turkey and uh you know in faces like of their president erdogan who is uh who could be a hey lynn just uh oh my god just uh become a stinger for a year on buy me a coffee thank you very much uh lynn uh, it's it's very generous so awesome thank you very much uh we have a new member there on the buy me on buy me coffee we i i i just in this case it's i because it's not communities uh buy me coffee right I must uh, this is why I must say I just don't like when people say we when they mean just them that that's some selfless uh, not wholesome stuff that I don't want to repeat <clears throat> I also have new questions um, in in where in a discord stream questions section so yeah Sweden is gonna become uh, become the NATO member only if Hungary, this fucking mm, piece of a sh piece of sheet of a leader, Orban is blocking this too. He's serving Putin uh, a good service, and that dude will pay for all the crimes he's doing right now. Hey Rick, uh, says Greg Watkins. When I bought you a coffee, I had a question that I really wanted to answer. To uh, that, I'm curious about: Does YouTube take 30, 40? out percent out of coffees like i guess they do the super chats no buy me coffee is taking only five percent and uh youtube is taking 30 percent from all the incomes so this is it yes uh good night everyone says yvonne need to go out with mio is a dog awesome great stream rick slava ukraini haram slava yvonne and thank you so much for coming being active in the chat and all the support thank you very much um so nato nato is giving us no nato members actually big seven is giving us some security guarantees before we are uh, going to nato and it's pretty great they have also some plan and they've started a council ukraine nato council where they're gonna work to um you know provide all those guarantees and to make them work 
So this is it. NATO summit was pretty good. And I like this GIF where Erdogan is uh, full in. You know, in Turkey, if you didn't know, guys, they have those ice cream dudes who are um, kind of full in the customers for fun. They are trying to give them ice cream, but then they uh, do it. Yeah, do actually, like you see it on the screen. So Erdogan is not full in, but he's actually spitting at Putin's face all the time and Putin will just um uh, you know lick all that spit <laughs> and eat it oh shit I'm so gross right now but you know what I mean that that piece of shit doesn't deserve any decent representation I mean Putin who tin uh so you see Zaluzhny Zaluzhny and Hudimenko you see the book that Zaluzhny holds in his arms I have one too, and it's Yuri Hudimenko's uh, book, who, yeah, he signed it to me, he's a Ukrainian soldier, uh, you see the sign, yeah, probably like this, this will focus on it, yeah, it, it focuses when it's instead of my face, <laughs> so yeah, this is it, uh, the book, is illusion he holds in his arms, I'm proud to be holding the same book in my arms, uh, in my hand, not arm, or hand, arm, hand, <laughs> I'm not sure. <coughs> Probably arm is this, right? And hand, it's a palm also. A bit of English right now. Love the ice cream, guys. We boy Putin is gonna cry though. Yeah, he's gonna cry. Um, okay. Alan Forbes is actually uh, unraveling that message. Browsers, someone asked about the mutineer. I got to drop two, but I love your translations and RFUSA. Thank you again. The moment is not opportune, but I believe strongly on paying kindness forward. Mm -hmm. Great show, guys, says Justin's Beaver. Yeah, that's a funny nickname. I heard it on the shills, and it's really hilarious. <laughs> um, okay, so thanks, Rick. Glad to know, says Sally Was. Okay. RF from USA and USA is asking Rick, did you see the meme of the giant grenade being carried by the mini spy drones? It was really funny. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, can you please drop it into the into a Discord uh, channel, maybe in the memes or somewhere there? Holding in your hand, you are right in my hand. Okay, thank you guys. I need to read some messages from uh, stream messages. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. The Surreal Taco, ta taco was asking, Rick, uh, you should send a two, a second signed flag back with Mercado. He can auction off to fundraise with. Yeah, it's actually... It's actually a great idea. Uh, I got to do that, definitely. I got to talk with him about that before he leaves. Rick, um, Carol V is asking, was asking, Rick, anyone seen Prigozhin? Uh, yeah, actually the boy in uh, his uh, trousers, right? Uh, the underwear. Uh, there was a legend Russian propaganda, not legend, but narrative story, made up story uh, where they were talking about, ah, shit, how, how they called him, the boy in his panties, yes, the whole, the boy in his panties, so the boy in his panties was burned down at the cross by Ukrainian Nazis, all that bullshit from 2014, remember guys, all that pr propaganda narratives, the super, super stupid bullshit, so, <laughs> yeah, that, that was it. And this week we saw the, yeah, these guys, by the way. <laughs> these guys knew the generation of politics. I like them. But they're also, who knows, probably they are. They're still, okay. okay. Getting carried away. So let's get back to Prigozhin in his panties. Panties. Look at this dude. He's sitting there somewhere in Belarus. Uh, that's the only photo of him. Or, yeah, there were no videos of him lately. And only this photo popped up in somewhere in a camp. Just the military camp somewhere in the woods. Who knows there? But he's wearing his pants. And the dude looks like a 
a total joke he is a total joke actually so um so 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 biden vladimir and i we the, i should shouldn't be so familiar uh mr zelensky and i uh talked about the kind of guarantees we could make in the meantime about the kind of guarantees we could make in the meantime <laughs> that face Vlad <laughs> my god i love that guy um yeah, so this uh, happened uh, when? On Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Wednesday night, it's Kyiv. Um, a brand new, well, it was built like five years ago, I think, uh, this uh, apartment complex, but one man died in that apartment, and this could happen to anyone here in Ukraine, anywhere, and I could be the next one if I'm not lucky, but if I'm lucky, I won't be, uh, but yeah, that, that's how it happens here in Ukraine. So yeah, Sternenko, uh, you remember that famous Ukrainian blogger, he is uh, saying that for every 58 uh, hits of our FPV drones, there are 48 uh, hits by Russian FPV drones, so those assholes are really catching up with us. Now, uh, in Russia, in 11 regions, they've opened uh, a military centers uh, to uh, make soldiers all out of school children. You see, they are teaching them to shoot, so they will be going straight forward to the army, to the front line from uh, Ukraine, no, to Ukraine from school. When they finish school, they, they will already know how to use Kalashnikovs, AK-47 and 74s, and they will know how to kill. Uh, they will be ready for that, and they will know how to operate drones also, you see? So yeah, they are teaching their kids to... Uh, typical, typical shit. And a bit of a humor. Oh, Stephen Barnes, welcome to the stream. Thank you for becoming Javelin. Uh, thank you for all the support. I'm glad you made it uh, anyway today. So we still have about 20 minutes. Let's talk. Tell me, tell me anything. 14 and 55 euros, 14 euros, 55 cents were sent by Michelle. Thank you very much, Michelle, for the scopes to add to the two X5 coffees I sent. Uh, victory to Ukraine. Um, Heroim Slava, thank you very much. Uh, okay, hello, perfect, awesome. <laughs> I'm just reading some comments. Good evening, everyone, says uh, Charlina. Welcome, Charlina. Upgraded membership to Javelin. Thank you very much, OCT. This is very generous. Stephen Barnes, hey, welcome, Stephen, says Sekai. Why? Why? Am I reading all the messages right now? I need to be showing you some videos. If you're gonna run like this, you're not gonna be running for long. <laughs> oh shit. Um, what? How did you like this friend's opening, guys? Tell me, tell me. And I forgot to check if we, we finally reached 300 likes. Yes, we did it. 307 likes. Thank you very much, guys. This will fucking help. Uh, Nils Adam, member for two months, Stinger. Thank you very much, Nils. I saw you in the, in the chat, but I forgot to say hello to you. 
Uh, love it. Nick Owen, how are you doing? I also missed your messages in the chat. Mm, David K was active today, also was, wasn't was saying hi to you, I guess. Um, Steven, how are you doing? I'm really curious. And they need a waterfall scene and a couch. Yeah, they <laughs> need to do that. But, but it was funny anyway. So fucking funny. I liked it a lot. So let's move on. Uh, these are the prisoners of war, Ukrainian prisoners of war, who are being treated unlike Ukrainian prisoners of war with dignity. They've been fed. They've been, you see, there's a video from one of the camps uh, in western Ukraine, I guess, somewhere in Lviv. Oblast, this is not a military secret, everyone talks about that. Also Zolkin told us that that's in Lviv region. So yeah, they live like in prison, but they've been fed well there. Uh, they've been constantly overviewed by UN, Red Cross, so it's all transparent. They eat meat there, they eat salad. Those guys are not living in hell like our prisoners of food. Of course they're, they're sad and their lives were ruined. But they even have a store there. They can uh, they can work there. Uh, they then uh, do what? They then uh, receive some money. They have a store. They go there and they can buy some food. They can buy some hygiene objects like toothpaste, like the shaving cream. Uh, on Zolkin's channel, there's a, a video about that. You please go there and check it out. Uh, also, five gifted memberships from OC, another five gifted. Thank you so much, OC. You 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 do so many gifts. You are so generous. Uh, Steven is saying perfect. Haha. -ha. I will be there for you. Ba 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 <laughs> ba 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 ba. I'll be there for you. You mean that one? Yeah, right. Uh, Anne Hill is saying I love this community. GG everyone. Yes, Anne Hill. This community is just just fucking awesome. I love it too. Thank you guys, I love you all. Thank you for all the support to the channel, to me, and to the armed forces of Ukraine. They are the priority, don't forget that. Uh, RF from USA, USA is saying, it's awesome, Rick. Uh, Ukraine has a good sense of humor, yeah. Dark humor is needed during dark times. Yeah, definitely, definitely, you're right. Steven was saying, yeah, I'm good again. Apologies for absence, just had to fit new carpets in apartment. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, and I congr congratulate you with moving to the new one. Awesome. Whew. They always may mention that, says Steven. They are free to pick the harvest. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, guys. Russian prisoners of war are quite likely living better than many back home. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> many of them live in, in their regular lives much worse. Dark, hum dark humor is the way. Yeah, I love it too. I think that's a safe bet, Michelle. <coughs> Says Greg, Greg Watkins, not me. Okay, again, ultra tired. This is why we gotta jump to a couple more news. What Deep State is saying, yeah. Russians are showing videos that how they're hitting our soldiers with FPV drones. And it's shit, because those soldiers probably died if they were directly hit with that. So we are taking heavy casualties. Ukrainian armed forces are just... Uh, they are just... being suffering the worst right now. And they've been suffering the worst for the last year and a half. And it could be better at some front for the... Yeah, it could be better... On the eastern front at some point but it's going to be worse uh in a month and for example right now guys let's go back to the deep state map we haven't been here in a few streams i must say uh, but they have some success russians are advancing here in kremina and svatove and let's get back in time a bit and see their success there one uh, a few success here uh, near Kremina. Let's get back in time. Yeah, they have in in a few weeks. Like, let's see what happened in two weeks here, near Kremina. So, they had success uh, somewhere 
you, know, you see here, you see, they are taking some positions. It's uh, actually a forest, a huge forest that we call Serebryanske Lisnitstvo in here. <clears throat> and they also have some success here, you see, they've taken a part in here. Uh, and they, uh, it's actually really hard for our forces lately on this. Yeah, in here, and yesterday, they took also a position in here. It's pretty hard for them in there, so we must support them even harder. Uh, but I, I know that it's hard sometimes. So near Svata, where they also had some success here, guys, in Novoselivske, uh, they've captured a few positions in here. And near Dvorichna, they also had some success. Let me go back in time even more. How how much? Yeah, a month ago, it was a month ago, I guess, even probably more. Yeah, I'm getting so much uh, back in time. <laughs> so I need to go forward again. So uh, let's see how our forces are advancing near Bakhmut, though. We have some success there. This week, you know, our forces, you see, captured some in Berhivka, no, no, Russians captured some in Berhivka, uh, captured back, I guess, but near Klishivka, our forces were advancing and having some success, and actually, they're really getting close, yeah, they're getting close to Kurdumivka, and Kurdumivka is going to be uh, retaken soon, I guess, as so does Klishivka, but the Russians are still there, no victory in Klishivka yet, our forces are still not in Klishivka. Don't listen to anyone. Okay, I'm getting back to the chat. I was lost in, in the, on the map for some time. Ukraine hot dogs come in a bread bowl thing instead of buns. Um, it, it lets you get all your fixings inside and they never fall out it's awesome yeah we call them brioche uh, those um, bread things and definitely a great hot dog i actually had one this week <laughs> uh, klishivka is surrounded and bakhmut too oh crap yeah by our forces randall mitchell hello how you doing how you doing how you doing I can do that Joey thing if we're talking about France today. Hot dog bun is like a hollowed out loaf of bread. Really cool. Okay, guys, let's get back to more news. Though we need to finish. Shahid attacks are happening every night. Almost every night. Russian soldier, this, this dude who was fighting in Ukraine. Uh, escaped to USA and was spotted on a what is it? It's not a Broadway. It's well, no, not Wall Street. Damn it, I forgot how it's called on this place. The very center of New York. So yeah, Russians, Russian soldiers are entering USA, and we need to pay attention to them. We need to deport them. We need to press the government. You guys. You need to press the government because I'm not in the US. So you need to press your government to uh, deport them, to extradite them. And this might must be fought, you know, together. We need to uh, make them pay. Not extradited, but extradited to Ukraine, not to Russia. Yes. Uh, oh, awesome video. Let's watch this one. So. You see that something is flying to our drone, our Ukrainian drone, and the rocket is missing the drone. This was a crazy moment. Let's uh, see the slower speed. Rocket is missing the drone. It's not hitting it. So yeah, this dead little fellow was pretty lucky. I hope he escaped after that. A Korean president with Korean first lady visited Kyiv yesterday. It was pretty awesome to see them. It's a first visit of a Korean leader ever in Ukraine. It was never happening since 1991, guys. So it's a huge step. They're providing us with 150 million more support, dollars of support, 
they're sending us um, demining systems they're helping us with humanitarian aid aid these uh, are the great news and i am really grateful to korea and korean people for supporting ukraine thank you guys uh, they visited bucha also uh, they yeah also the first lady of korea is uh, a pretty beautiful woman i would say and she is about 50 years old but she looks like uh, like a 30 year old um, woman i must say that she's beautiful that's it so uh we have a stupid um like you know the, those helpful idiots as we call them here in ukraine for example um the street painter from napoli italy came to mariupol painted uh, this uh, mural uh, it's actually a girl uh, who was um yeah who was how you call it shot yeah photo shot by uh, a famous photographer uh, Helen Whittler with Whittle Will yes photography it's her profile on Instagram where she said thank you to everyone who has reached out to me today I have been made aware that this photo of mine taken in 2018 has been used to create a mural in Mariupol Ukraine. I was not contact contacted by the artist and do not give permission for the image to be used. My thoughts and opinions are in no way alleged, uh, aligned with those in the artist involved. So this asshole came to Mariupol, uh, drove this and uh, said next um, that uh, kids, uh, he he repeated the Russian narrative. The kids uh, from Donbass, eight years living on the shelling. Uh, he th uh, he thinks that all the news uh, about Russia invading Ukraine are lies, and Kyiv uh, was is uh, controlled by USA for a long time. Is being controlled so. Typical Russian propagandist just lives in Italy and making painting paintings on wall. Another asshole, and we must fight this Russian propaganda through such idiots and assholes too, guys. Be aware, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, so um, Zaluzhny gave a great interview to Washington Post. Washington Post this week. He said that. He said some amazing things. Thanks, you guys go there and read that interview. I will mention just one of them. Uh, one of the points that uh, to uh, save my people, I need to, why do I need to ask someone permission uh, to do that? Uh, yeah, to do something about, uh, to do something on uh, enemy's territory. Uh, for some reason, I must think what uh, I must do there and what is not permitted to me. Why? Uh, because Putin will use the nuclear weapons. Kids who are dying, they don't care about it. Our problem, it is our problem and uh, we need to solve it. How to kill the enemy. Uh, on their territory, we uh, can and we must kill during the war. Uh, if our partners are afraid to uh, use their weapons, uh, we're gonna kill them using our weapons. Uh, but only um, that much that is needed. This is the this uh, I translated it to you right now. But Washington Post definitely has this article uh, written in English. So you guys, please go there and read that article because this man is so fucking based. He's fucking legend. I see you, N. Hill. Yes, he's a legend. And you guys, please read the Washington Post post uh, interview. And I see you guys being angry on that uh, helpful idiot from Italy, right? Ukraine should be able to use whatever they have against the enemy, whatever they are. Yeah, right, because 
initially they invaded us they are the aggressor and to protect ourselves we can use any weapons anywhere against the enemy and Zaluzhny is totally right I also read it says uh, Caitlin R General Zaluzhny the Iron General is the best yes we're so fucking lucky to have him leading in our army right now uh, Molotov in the trench assault could help anyone yep I don't know ah cocktail Molotov yeah exactly he's correct why should anyone in Ukraine not be able to fight back on Russian territory yeah yes okay uh, not many news uh, left more today uh, today uh, Ukrainian naval drones were used in Sevastopol you see the ones and how many bullets being shot at him at it yeah not him but some of them were successful I I think I'm not sure but I think and Luhansk was hit by storm shadow today I guess uh, I mean I'm not sure that it's a storm shadow but it's the only rocket that can reach Luhansk that we have in our arsenal awesome Bavolna is happening every day here today no today a lot of Bavolna happened that's what I wanted to say uh, what else that's, that's all the news that I wanted to show you guys that's awesome everything covered today I can't imagine. Did I do that? I had a great chatting with you in the beginning of the stream. Then I had a talk with Dick. Then I covered all the fucking news. This is the most efficient uh, Rick ever. <laughs> That's because I was so energetic in the beginning of the stream. Fucking awesome. It wasn't me. I was saying what? Oh, see, yes, Ukraine has some uh, awesome leaders. Zelensky's illusion and Budanov, yes. And Aussie is answering, it has to be the DNA. There are so many of them. Slava Ukraini, Ram Slava, thank you very much. Uh, maybe French sculpt, maybe already a French sculpt. Excellent stream, thank you guys. But we still need to redirect those money. Let me check. Uh, let me check how much we raised. <coughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Awesome, says Nick Owen. Yes, Nick. I totally agree. <clears throat> My cough. I think I have allergies right now. Yerik, yeah, yeah. Yes, Suzanne. Oh, and I'm also pretty hungry, so I need to eat something after the stream. And guys, we still have 129 people on the stream at the moment. Can you imagine? Uh, after, oh my god, after three and a half hours of streaming, we still have that many people on stream. Five gifted mass memberships by the Beaver of Justin. <laughs> Thank you very much, Beaver. Justin's Beaver. Uh, Thank you for gifted memberships, and I'm getting really tired. This is why I need to redirect the money as fast as possible, and I need to go to bed no not to bed yet so many news to read so many food to eat so many home stuff to do yeah so still still not going to bed guys the result is fantastic today we have raised one thousand four hundred and ten dollars and seventy seven cents rick is on the roll yeah i'm rolling 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 today uh Fred Durst is a stupid douchebag, but the song is still legendary, so I roll in and roll in today. Yes. Rick's community is awesome. This community is fucking best. Thank you, guys. Of course, I'm saying it because uh, you're my community and um, you're, you're always going to be fucking best for me, but uh, you can compare and you can agree or disagree with that. Yes. Take that, Putin, says Duncan Stewart, $1,410.77. Fucking awesome. Uh, now, I'm going to redirect it in parts to to what? Uh, to my jar, yes. To not my jar. This jar is not mine. Oh, guys, by the way, uh, what do we do? Uh, should we send $1,000 to this fundraiser? Uh, and four hundred dollars and how many cents? Uh, four hundred and ten dollars and seventy-seven cents to Helena. All the rest. What do you think? Should we do that? Because I think 
it's going to be a great help and support to Helena. Uh, never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Yeah, I'm bad at singing at when I need to say down. Uh, never going to turn around. <laughs> uh, I, I'm singing because we raised a great amount of money today, guys. For the armed forces of Ukraine, not for some mm, Russian... Um, immigrants you know <laughs> you know what what who am i talking about uh we raised money for a good cause not to support some poor people who are dying in immigration um yeah but you are the judge to them you do what you want to do мы тебя любимо says irene s uh я люблю вас також я також вас люблю yeah um something like that i love you too guys That's how it is translated. So um, it was me saying thank you all. You are awesome. See you all next week at the joint stream with the Shields. Thanks again, Dick. Rick the Ukrainian, thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. It was me. Always a pleasure to have you here. I second that many times, says Carbomb. No, says RF from USA. <laughs> Who is Carbomb, by the way? I missed that person in the chat. Uh, Hada was saying thank you, Rick. Gotta go. Thank you for being here with us, Heather. Not said anything, but I've been here for a few hours. Sleep well. Slava Ukraini. Thank you very much. And Heroim Slava. Uh, okay, guys. What did you tell me? Rick, uh, that will work great. Either uh, 1,400 sp uh, split or 700-700 will be good. Yeah, guys. Um, I, I'm thinking of, uh, I don't know. One thousand dollars is uh, is something that I usually like having a, having a goal for a fundraiser. So let's add one thousand and give four hundred and ten dollars to Helena. Yeah. If okay, I need other opinions. I did like that. Is it easier to see? Says Anne. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you, Anne. It's easier to see, definitely. Anne, sorry that I didn't answer your questions. Oh, maybe I still have your question there in the Discord. Let me distract myself from fundraising uh, redirections, all that stuff, and try to find it there. Give me a minute. From, from, from. Huh? No, I, I don't see a message from you there, but maybe the second chat. Yes, there's another chat there. Uh, uh -huh, 947 is pretty long ago. Yeah, I missed it. And maybe you can ask a question right now <laughs> again. But yes, let me get back to, 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 to the PayPal. Uh, with Laska. Yaradi. Storm Shadow, yes. Storm Shadow. We need to chant it. Sounds good. But who is Helena again? Helena is my volunteer friend. I'm gonna show you the video for the new for all the new guys. I'm gonna show you who Galina Helena is. Hala is the short name. So on my channel in the shorts, I have a shirts about Helena and what she do, what she does, and it's not the only thing that she does. Let's listen to this video. So here she is. Hi guys, Alina, my friend. Hi. Today she taught me to gather the uh, med kits, the professional one, the one for the front line, for the guys from the front line, all the stuff. We, we gathered it today. She taught me how to, where to put. Everything is on its place. Everything is where it should be. That's all that's needed. And I guess it's NATO standard, right? Hala? Yes. NATO, yes, and yes. and more. And even more. Yeah, some bonuses like these heating. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's extra quality. It's Helena's quality. She's uh, making these every day. This is a great work she's doing, and I just wanted to share it with you. And that's it. Slava Ukraini. So now you know who Helena is guys. and what she does. Uh, she's making those med kits. One med kit is two hundred dollars, uh, and Yeah, ingredients cost $200. She uh, gathers it all herself. Michelle uh, did it answer all of um, this. I mean, uh, <laughs> your question fully uh, about who Helena is. She is a very, as I've already mentioned, she's a very self selfless person. 
uh, and she is uh, con constantly given her own money to the armed forces of Ukraine, and she's she's actually been going to the front lines, uh, not to the front lines, but to the place close to the front line still in 2015, and she was volunteering as a doctor there uh, in surgery, and she was, um, you know, she was doing a great, great support uh, to Ukrainian people there in Donbass already back then. So you can imagine how good Helena is, and I, I'm so happy that I met her back then in 2019. She actually changed my life and helped me to move to Kiev from occupation. She um, actually let me stay in her home for the first couple of months uh, to, you know, to just be able to adapt and to find myself an apartment. So yeah, she, she's been a great help and it's it's not all that she helps me with. She, As I've told you, she's already also healing me. She's been my doctor. Damn, Helena, she, she's just amazing. Uh, so now you know, all of you now know who Helena is. Uh, my grandma says, uh, Rick, Привіт, ми тебе любимо на добраніч. She said, uh, Rick, hello, um, we love you, good night. Uh, я також вас люблю, на добраніч, дякую, що завжди тут, завжди підтримуєте мене і uh, пишаєтеся мною. Це мені дуже важливо, я вас люблю. І мені зворушливо від цих слів. Um, what did I say? I say that uh, thank you very much for always being here. Thank you so much for supporting me, for believing in me. And um, this is touching and I'm currently touched when I'm saying it. Yes. Uh, Okie dokie. More messages. Good morning from Melbourne. Uh, welcome vegan runner. Uh, please watch the recording. It was an amazing stream. Rick, I don't see a ring on her finger. Uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. No, he has a, a she. Sorry, she has a husband. Uh, he's a great a guy and my friend too. So she is not available anymore. They are happily married. They love each other. So yeah, they are amazing people. So it's her and her husband. Uh, he's also a volunteer and he also helps um, with all of that. She's uh, being helped by her husband. Um, so he's amazing too. Carolyn G says goodbye all. Great chat today. Thanks to Rick, Dick, and chat community. It was amazing. Thank you guys. So I still need to redirect those messages. Also, Helena been uh, sending me some exclusive material that I forgot to show you guys. I'm gonna definitely find it on till until the next stream, and I will uh, do what? I will show it to you. Oh, she actually. Uh, I actually can send it to myself right now and show it to you right now. What do you think? Let's do it. The stream is pretty extended. I mean, going pretty extended, but we still have 118 people up there. Almost four hours of streaming. This is fucking crazy. Uh, but Rick, take this message with you. Uh, yeah, I'm sending you, uh, sending you the video. Not you, but myself, but I'm going to show it to you. Uh, thank you so much for one more gifted memberships, uh, Tony. Uh, and please, I missed your answer if Tony is okay. Please uh, give it to me again. Okay, I'm a bit tired, but I need to show it to you because I promised Helena and I'm going to forget next time. I'm definitely going to forget. <laughs> So let's go there and see it. Let's go there. The message. Here it is. So here's the medkit. Yeah, and what it consists of. Two um, tourniquets. One uh, blanket. Uh, one opikun. Uh, damn it. Aha. Uh, Servetka uh helova. -huh. I, I won't be able to translate it. Let's just watch. So this thing. Also, this oh, this one is is uh, an Israeli bandage. Yes, I know that one. Uh, this thing oh, Krovospas. This one is for stopping blood. Uh, this one oh, the ma marker. Yeah, ah, uh, I know that one. The tube for the 
inhaling stuff and some medications in that small thing uh, some bandages and a lot more stuff so she decided to show me how much how many things and all of them are pretty expensive for example Israeli Israeli bandage is about $30 uh, or 40 probably it's pretty expensive so now you understand um, how why is it so expensive i wanted to say so here it is here's a, also a photo she uh yeah she's been sending it to me to well, let you guys know what what it is there inside of it oh also the scissors you you've seen the scissors she's also buying those scissors and putting them there this is it yes guys did we get to 350 likes no we still haven't can we get to them Please, it's 324. <laughs> I will be grateful to you guys. Okay, so uh, Michelle is saying life saving equipment in the field, indispensable. Yeah, guys, you also know that it is all expendables. And unfortunately, we can send uh, like 50 uh, medkits. Helena can send 50 medkits every uh, month, but they're being used all the time because a lot of injured soldiers and a lot of uh, also soldiers who can die without those med kits and who are dying sometimes so we need to we need to support her in her amazing uh, initiative licky the like yeah lick the like guys we have a phrase here on the in the community someone once said like the like it was charlie probably right or uh, sekai or mushroom many I don't remember but uh, lick the like grown from there it was like that transformed to lick okay not to die right now I need to send those money and go to sleep um, definitely just give me a second you're gonna see all all of it on the stream I'm transferring first 500 for the fundraiser <clears throat> oh shit my throat is also hurting I don't know why um okay so first um shit i need to send euros first because i've been <laughs> 14 euros and 55 euro cents were sent by uh let me remember who that was it was michelle yes michelle thank you i'm gonna send them first and it's gonna be let me check it's gonna be 595 hermnas. Awesome. I'm, I'm sending it now. Let me do it. Let me do it. Why am I singing this? Rest and relax. Rick, other med kits, more or less a one time use. Uh, mostly one time because if you have a real injury you use almost all of it almost all the med kit and uh, you need a new one obviously because everything is uh everything could be used only once that's it okay transferring 500 dollars now 500 dollars is going to be the first transfer for the fundraiser and i'm going to add those 14 euros to halina's um donation yes so send in 18,284 hermnas first let me make the like how do you what do you call it fixation <laughs> yeah this is it you see it i put the number there eighteen thousand two hundred and eighty four hermes uh and monopay yes now i need to to do what <sighs> to uh, put the comment yes the comment is going to be from Rick the Ukrainian's community. Slava Ukraini, right? As usual, Rick the Ukrainian's community. Slava Ukraini. Nice. So you will see the progress bar updating right now. Thank you for two more gifted memberships. Aussie, you're the best. And did I miss your... Yeah, you see the progress bar updated. It's 19,021% right now, guys. Great fucking job. 
So, uh, Ozzy, were you answering it? Written to me about the name. Did I miss it again? We we need we just need to go to ah uh, to what? We just need to go to the private messages and finally sort it out. <laughs> or maybe I'm so it's really hard to see all the messages, but I'm trying to find yours, and it's not something not the uh, sorry. I need, I don't need to do this right now, I need to be transferring money. So another 500 I need to transfer now. Just give me a minute. Another 500. Transferring it, yes, awesome. You're licking the like, great job. Great job, Irene. But you can lick it only one time, right? Uh, what is it? I need to go see. Well, 332 likes. Great result. Okay. Still tired. <laughs> 18,284. Same sum of money, of course, because it's another $500. Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, let's press it again. And let's send money again. Oof. One more for today. One more for today. One more for today. Heroem Slava. Awesome. We. You will see progress bar updating right now. Thirty-seven thousand four hundred. And 68 remnants raised 41%. Great fucking result for one stream. In one stream, yes. Uh, so, yeah. And Halina, I need to send her money right away. I won't be doing any delays. Give me a minute. So, I need to, I need to check how much should i send considering those euros let me see 974 and 5 394 and 5 cents 50 cents sorry okay awesome transferring it to my cart and then gonna i'm gonna report about that uh as i usually do in the community tab you remember that guys how it works, 394 and 50 cents. Awesome. Sending him right away. Great work, awesome community. I totally agree with that, Aussie. Ooh, pretty fucking tiring. Oh my god, guys, it's gonna be more than 15,000. No, no, about, yeah, about 15,000 that we're gonna uh, transfer to Halina. Fuck yeah, she's gonna be really grateful for that, guys. She's she's always grateful. Fuck yeah, guys. I'm also gathering some elements for uh, future auctions, so you're gonna be getting some interesting Ukrainian stuff. And one of them was provided by Helena by some friend of hers. So and there's a small spoiler, a hint to you. Okay, 14 um, plus, oh, let me check, 14, 220, no, no, not, not this, 26 plus, let me check how much euros uh, were converted into hrivnas, no, how much, how many hrivnas were converted, oh my god, whatever, you know what I mean. 594, so it's 1520 Remnas to Halina. This will support her critically. Also, she maybe already had a fundraiser for the battalion. Um, by the way, did, did I tell you that they we, we were raising for the car for the battalion and that the priorities have changed and they bought six FPV drones and the equipment for the FPV drones. For, so they're going to be reporting for that. They still haven't um, posted a video, but I think you guys are okay with that because FPV drones are the priority. Uh, and they said that 
they still need a car but uh, they still but they can get i mean they can come along without it or how do you call it they can live without it for now but they cannot live with F, without fpv drones this is why those 300 thousand uh, hermanas uh, were spent on fpv drones and they're definitely going to be making the video okay so last thing to do is to transfer money to helena to my dear friend oh i'm not going to be doing it here i'm going to be doing it on my monobank app on my phone so you're not going to see it now but i'm going to be making a screenshot as i usually do and sending it into community tab i'm going to show to the new people how it works let me go to my channel you go here uh, it's gonna be today or tomorrow I'm gonna post it so here you see we usually report like this you see Hala my friend and 8000 Rinas here I I put the comment na aptečki which means for Madcat, Slavo Ukraini i Halini uh, glory to Ukraine and to Halina I added this one so yeah let me send it here and now right away maybe i will still have time today to make the report this in the community tab so happy to support your troops and now halina also another truck with merc thank you very much michelle for becoming a donator here too this is oh, i'm i'm touched thank you very much guys for all the support and for all the new donators today and for all the regulars who are constantly doing it you are all the just amazing okay send to Helena there's my friend my friend where are you looking for her at, at my app send in 15,020 hermanas to her <clears throat> Uh, I will say for the med kits and all the other stuff that you need. Uh, because she also is buying boots uh, for soldiers, she's buying tactical gloves, she's buying the uniform for some of them. There are a lot of requests, and she's buying drones to buying vehicles. We help her fundraise, and uh, yeah, it's always like that. So. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, and I'm actually gonna put the English version so you guys can understand um, what am I saying to her. <coughs> and other stuff, I will call it just like that. Stuff for, for the army, for the army okay slava halini i will put this <coughs> halini slava <laughs> yes we love you also right we love you i love her and i i'm sure most of you guys love her too uh, i would actually love to do one of the streams together with her just put her here, here next to me and we're going to talk to you. You're going to ask her questions. It's a, actually a great idea. I, mean, I need to do it someday. Uh, okay. Donation sent. And I actually, I can actually show you the screenshot right now, guys. What the fuck? I'm going to show it to you now. Give me a second. <laughs> She's also going to reply to that, uh, to the message that I've gave her here together with the nation she's usually doing that uh rick ask this unit to go through the 69 snake for sniffing brigade for the truck then we can fundraise for them for drones with you oh yeah this is fucking awesome and donate to nay for sniffing brigade for them too it's actually a fucking awesome idea let me let me speak to them and figure that out okay awesome uh, thank you. Thank you, RF from USA. I wanted to cooperate with 69 Sniffing Brigade uh, as Andrew advised me and I love NAFO and I would love to do some stuff with NAFO. So yeah, may, uh, showing you the screenshot and then I need to run guys because it's been crazy long. It's been four hours, but we did a great fucking job today. 
Look at this. If not four hours of streaming, we wouldn't be getting that many donations and that much money and not be supporting Halina that good, right? Oh, I'm so happy that we are able to do this. That's something that I was looking for. I mean, my purpose last year was depressed. In summer, I was so fucking depressed because I couldn't help my country somehow, anyhow. And now I do this and I'm just, I'm just happy. Starsky did say when he gets deployed again, since he's the press officer, uh, they probably still have access to send out platforms or whatever. I don't understand this, sorry. So yeah, I, I, I'm I showing this to you now. Here it is, 15,020 hermanas. You see 16th of um, July, 2023, 2329. So it was sent just two minutes ago. Uh, for you see, for med kits and other stuff for the army, Halina Slava, <laughs> she had Halini Slava, it, it should be, but I cannot change the message. We love you. I've put everything there, so yeah, I've reported about this already. Awesome fucking job, you're doing great, Rick. Thank you so much, vegan runner. House, uh, come to the next streams, guys. You're not gonna regret it because we have not only a serious important job here but we also have fun just like we had fun with dick today it was a lot of laughter and a lot of energy sharing i love it a lot so it was a great fucking stream thank you guys nathan is saying andrew will go live in 29 minutes i'm spreading sunday watching my favorite pro ukrainian streamers don't forget to um remind andrew to call me to other morning shows because i would love to be there again and i still have a lot to tell tell you about and it was a great company and i i've spent a great time there with with guys with starsky alex and andrew it was awesome it's important work rick little actions pile up fast teamwork makes the dream work friends yeah you're right michelle Thank you. Thank you very much. Nine likes and 10, until 350. Can we do 350, guys, right now? Thanks, Rick, says Bobby Newman. Wish I had more to contribute uh, than hot air, <laughs> says one grail. It's totally okay. It's, it's the most important thing to be here. Donations are appreciated, but they are not necessary, you know? Uh, not like, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, guys, say hello to Andrew from me. Say uh, also that Ukraine is going to win. I have no doubt in it. And fuck, my hair is spinning. I need to go to sleep. I'm, I'm exhausted. Uh, but you keep messaging me. I'll be reading them for another minute or two after I end the stream. Thank you, guys. Once again, day, day 508. Uh, was pretty successful for us raising funds for the armed forces of ukraine and in fighting russian propaganda too i guess and in collaborating and making a great community even more great okay love you all guys slow ukraini